Hello, welcome. Today we'll be playing custom map Colonia Julia Equestress, which I already played once on stream. Uh, and we'll be aiming for as large of a city as possible, along with all the beautification we can get away with. Uh, I'll post the instructions in the chat. Anybody wants to read on them? You can find the map there. Other than that, <coughs> we start with 4400 denarii. We are playing on very hard, of course. Augustus. Check the trade map. I think uh, there is a lot of trade opportunities on this map. Some of them are lined. Arbo it will be our starting trade route. It will buy some pottery off of us and some iron. Entry point is over here. And exit point is right there. Invasion points. This is probably an invasion point. This one as well. This one. And then all the way over here. Here and here. Problem is, the only source of water for us is going to be either these reservoir placements that are enclosed. This shoreline which is mostly unusable for housing. Or... We can have a reservoir over here, which we need to snake across the whole map if you want to make use of it. So it's not going to be easy. Initially we should probably utilize this reservoir position. Let's check natives. There should be some. And globally on the map there are some sprinkled around, but it's not too insane. We should be able to do just fine. Uh, we could produce some clay over here. There is a tile of water there and there. We could make some clay pits in these areas to make pottery because otherwise we would have to get our clay from over here, which is not initially viable, I don't think. The first thing that we need to do is go into our advisors, check wages, check salary, should decrease this to two denarii. I'll keep this money on hand for now. Drop taxes. Delete these things. Make a reservoir. And you'll need to come up with the design of a block in this area. We should also check our raw resources so we can have clay pits and iron mines. So the timber will have to be imported. But that is completely fine. Hey, friend the computer, welcome. So I've watched this enough, I'm starting to understand, sort of. If they made a mod more modern version of this game, Caesar 4, I do think they should do it. There is Caesar 4, but it's uh, absolute abomination. It's a terrible game, you can look it up. It doesn't feature walkers, as we know them. The graphics, uh, it is an early 3D game, so it's just horrific. And... Uh, the maps are tiny. Everything about the game is just terrible. Apart from the soldier voices, those are actually better than in Caesar 3. But if somebody would like to make a game that would be spiritual successor to Caesar 3, I definitely think uh, you need to keep the Volker mechanic in. You should do a remaster of the terrain and the uh, sprites, but keep them realistic. Do not do it in a cartoony fashion like Pharaoh does it. Just do not add a cartoony stuff. It has no place in a game like this. That's the main issue I have with most of the modern remasters. Nabakundezer, Vero Remaster, so far what I've seen from it, it's going to be cartoon as fuck. And they are not going to change it. So you need to keep that. Other than that, mechanics need to be kept uh, reasonable. So food production should be a priority. All these things should be the same. And of course keep the combat in, maybe improve upon it so you make it more part of the game. And I think Augustus actually has a lot of these things in mind for the future, like they want to expand the Empire map to include province management, so you can actually improve some areas to mine some resources, like uh, Children of the Nile has it where you can actually get like mm, uh, set up quarries and stuff like that along the map. So that should be cool, but it's just my idea. Of course there are people who <coughs> might like it. 
uh, differently soon, it's completely fine. Let's check. This is fertile land for wheat, so you should keep this for feeding people, which means that you will need to fit more solar population over here. It's not going to be easy to dodge these rocks. So what you are going to do is make a road there and try to preserve as much space as possible with these. That's a house, that's a house, which means that it can go down here. This can be a uh, probably nothing of importance. Will not have road access, but it's okay. We we'll probably keep it as a single line. I doubt loop would work very well. Means that just bringing it there is okay. We need to do something like this. And bring this there. We'll start with this. We'll need to place houses so they merge correctly. Next up, we need an engineer and a prefect. We'll probably need another prefect on this side, but I don't want to place him just yet. Not sure where the optimal space for him will be. Looks like we need to keep this for 2x2. Two two. We'll need to make a doctor over here. Make a temple for series, but first we need to set up a place where we'll keep the rest of our temples. That is going to be over here. Just make a line like that. We'll need a <coughs> prefect and an engineer. Hey Baron, welcome. Finally some Caesar, right? Sorry for yesterday, I uh, so you tune in just as my internet connection crashed. Didn't happen to me before, but I didn't manage to get it up fast enough and it was really late, so I decided to just scrap the stream. Okay, so Temple Dump is up and running. This should house a fair amount of people. No worries, yeah, yeah. Next up we need to worry about industry, but we don't have people just yet, so wait until them they move in to the city. Super upset about that, he's been complaining non-stop since then. <laughs> yeah, barely. Not like it was something uh, too enticing for mainly Caesar interested people. It was just some buggers, so. I'll make it up. Yeah. Today we might try to make this a beautiful city at some point, but first we need to focus on the goals so I can actually beat the map. It is the speed slightly. Need to wait for mergers so that we can add more tents and then add a fountain eventually. So far we are still missing workers for services. Fine. Keep making tents. Hey Jake, welcome. Every time Baron goes to bathroom now he says he's taking a mark, he's completely <laughs> overreacting. Yeah yeah. Keep that there. Should be able to squeeze some more over here. I want to keep this open for logistic reasons. And we are having some unemployment already. So let's start with our first piece of industry. Which will be light bed over here. 
I want to wait two workshops for Potter. Not sure where those will be yet. We'll need to consider mines as well for iron, so let's skip that. Via these trees, you'll need to keep some warehouses here. We should probably keep a warehouse over here for pottery and over here for iron. This is Augustus, you'll need to keep them uh, under clinic coverage as well, otherwise, they will catch disease. You need to keep that in mind. The iron mines is sufficient initially. Workshops for pottery, they can deliver the goods quite far, so let's keep them. Over here, thanks for the follow. And what we'll do is make an engineer right there on the end of the line. Make a prefect over here. And probably one prefect should be enough. But you'll need the doctor so the warehouses don't explode. Check this. This will accept pottery and this will accept iron. Once you get some stockpiles, you'll actually export the goods. But for now, let's keep them in the warehouses. Of course, everybody in Jake Paris understands this game. Understanding it is a bit much. Nothing too <clears throat> complicated, I don't think. There are far more complicated games out there. I can play on Baron Tier in some practice. Oh, Baron, I can actually play good. Oh. <laughs> You are too kind, but I think that Baron actually did some feats which I couldn't do on some maps. So if nothing else, we are probably about even. But I am definitely more meticulous in designing things, which helps me in long long run, but Baron still can do pretty well. Metodical, yeah. Yeah, and Baron is the one with the sword, that is correct. But he also spent, like, several years of his life grinding the challenge. <laughs> and I'm not interest in, interested in being a mod anywhere, so... Part of the reason I don't attempt any challenges. Not even a year, <laughs> it was just a joke. Of course not. But there were multiple attempts. That much I know. So should keep fountain there. This would be a fairly reasonable place to keep another one. Just to water these scrubs and then probably have fountain somewhere here to cover the rest. Unfortunately it will not cover this one. Baron for sure is better in C3 than you. You have nowhere near the practice, but I could see myself getting there, yeah. With practice you can get anything done basically, I think. Just if you spend considerable amount of time in any kind of profession or on a game or even a task, you can master it eventually if you have like at least mediocre abilities. Yeah, it's extremely learnable. Doom 2 is a great challenge. I can believe that. Unfortunately, I'm not a much of a Doom guy myself. Anyone could do it, yeah. It's one of those games. It's the thing that most of the game companies seek to create. It's learned that the, the game that is easy to learn, but hard to master. We'll be missing uh, one house to be watered, but that is fine. We can remove him. I am sure we'll need the services anyway. Always oh, hoping for something in Hearts of Iron 4 or Stellaris. Yeah, you are Paradox Scrap after all, so that's completely understandable. Should add another mine. 
rough soon two of them. I believe we will have plenty of opportunity to trade iron. Seems unlikely. Yeah. In this game we get access to Krachov Plaza. It's very unfortunate. Uh, it's very uncommon. Let's make use of that. Just few here and there. To evolve these buggers and next up we should focus on the clay on the high ground I think. It will necessitate a meeting uh, not meeting hut. It will necessitate a mission post. But that is fine. Just need to see how many people you can fit in there. Looks like quite a few. Let's check. So that's that will be a clay pit and then we'll need space for two workshops. Should be fine to have it over there. Means that we should be just fine to pacify this guy from here. I'm getting some iron stocked up, but that's not enough to justify opening the trade route just yet. You haven't taken the bailout money anyway. Let's do workshop for pottery there. We probably have one there as well. Uh, actually, it's pretty bad for access to the warehouse. I think that he can actually cart the clay some distance to still remain efficient. This should be fine. Connect this up. Make actually let's make squiggles. We'll make him go faster. He will skip corners. So this is 0, 95, 90, 90, 9, 9, as requirements. Yeah, you can see them right there. And also let me post the instructions again. If anybody is interested in the map, you can find it here. Uh, culture because it's a bad rating because it does not reflect coverage of the services. It does not reflect how many <coughs> of your housing uh, areas get access to each kind of service. It's just spammy and it resolves immediately. So if you are missing culture, you can just go to a corner, spam, then theaters, then schools, then libraries, and then immediately the rating will take up and it will not need any access to any housing. I don't like that at all. I think many people share that view, so I don't include those in my maps. I just think it's bad. But if you like the culture rating, of course, it's your choice to include it in your maps. It's everybody's choice to make. Let's keep services up here as well. Engineer, Prefect, you will roadblock this off, right there. Now we are missing people slightly. What do roadblocks do that the garden doesn't? Well, they are very tight, they can fit on a road and you can customize them. If I go into special orders, I could allow specific walkers through. Very handy. Alright, so with this amount of iron we should probably open the trade route. We will... Mm, he could allow the bailout money to be paid out, I don't mind. So Caesar will not be pissed about that. Even though I could avoid it with donating money to the city, but it's fine. Let's take the bailout, see how much it is. Probably around six, uh, six or seven hundred, I think. You'll need to open Narbo at first. So we'll do that and what we'll do is we will immediately set our pottery to be exported, same as iron. Yes, this is Augustus. Try to make these new funds last longer. Yeah, I cannot bring myself to go back to Julius now. I'm too spoiled. Even though it is 
Like, it's debatable if it's challenging more than Augustus or not. In some regards, definitely, and some maps are harder than others. PAX is solved in this game. Yeah, definitely. Great voice acting. I recently searched for who voiced Caesar. Found out it was a guy who actually found uh, the entire Sierra uh, company. Different type of challenge we have. So we still have some unemployment. Not too much of it, unfortunately. Let's check our... Actually, this guy is sad because he doesn't have nice area around him thanks to these workshops. So let's keep plaza there. And what we'll need to do is check our population advisor. We can still fit around 100 people in the city. This is um, much more about manipulating the more arcane bits of Caesar tree, yeah. But also some of the things like providing hippodrome or even other things like Colosseum is very easy. Where in Augustus on maps where you don't have marble, like this one, is actually ball busting. You just are very very strange in that regard. So what I would like to do is export some furniture, but we would need to open a trade route to Massilia as well to buy some timber. Which is not a bad idea, but it would require 1200 denarii to do that. So we cannot afford it just yet. However, we start to see some first pieces of pottery making uh, their way to this warehouse, which is great. And this clay pit has produced some clay and stockpiled it in this workshop, which is also not bad. We have 39 unemployed people. It's not a huge number. What we could do is feed these people, just to make this a chance. Uh, since water is very scarce, we'll just have to go tall with our housing. It will however mean that we cannot set up like ad hoc tent places because they will get very very pissed since this is Augustus. I need to think about how many people I can feed with this. Augustus on the balance, uh, it's more macro challenge in my opinion. Yeah, with more configurable warehouses and everything, it definitely is a different kind of challenge. So we should keep But this is fine, right? Is there a list of changes? Oh, well, it's very, very extensive. Each uh, Augustus uh, update actually has patch notes, but if you want a comprehensive list, we would be here a very, very long time. Yeah, manual. Well, a lot of it is, but a lot of it is also custom made. And that means even concepts. Make some farms over here. Three of them is quite enough, at least initially. Might add a fourth one, just not yet. Scrap this road. <coughs> we'll need to add a granary. So we'll keep it over here. It's completely fine. Problem might be that uh, granaries can also get infected. <clears throat> Keep a roadblock there, maybe the doctor will cover this. But we'll definitely need an engineer and a prefect over here. So let's add a road there. This needs to be set up to accept wheat. Let's check the map for any invasions. No invasions just yet. It's good enough. And let's take this dig tool and try to clear the route for the caravan. So they don't spend as much time on the map. This 
is fine. We sold some pottery, so we are still in the white, which is good. Population is fine. Should be seeing some grain making its way over here. But we will struggle to keep all the necessary buildings here, so we'll add a market over here. Hope that this one will be enough to feed them. And they will need access to other facilities, means school. <coughs> And they will also need, uh, they will also need a theater. Let's do a school here. Allow. Uh, education workers to walk through there. And we'll do a roadblock right there, which will allow. Defects and engineers to come through. My favorite things about Augustus uh, are all the new building models, new statues, and desirable buildings. <laughs> well, it's my least favorite part, but everybody has their neck for stuff, so it's fine that you like different things. Take, I really don't like the granary sprite. <laughs> I don't mind the granary. Covers everyone. Look warm. I will need to add theater. Yeah, auto merger is amazing. Off-roading granaries as well, yep. Need to remove this guy. <laughs> Might need yet another farm just to feed everyone because uh, the first feeding cycle is always the worst. So let's do that. We'll do another roadblock. This one will allow engineers to come through it as well. Desirability already. Sprinkle in some more plaza. I enjoy integrating the granaries into the city in interesting ways. Find myself missing it in Faro. I played much of Pharaoh myself, so I'll just not comment on that. Keep him iron mine there. Could make more over here, but there is no need currently. You can see some castles. Well, when you have, uh, <coughs> when you do have tents and these castles, then sure. But once you get actually insulate, it looks kind of fitting, I guess. But yeah, it could be smaller or encompassed differently. Uh, probably would have been like a cistern, uh, partially underground for storage of grain or other food. So it wouldn't be like this because it's uh, much more exposed to air. I don't think uh, Garomans built granaries like this much. I suspect it was more partially or even entirely underground structures. Some more plaza. These still hate where they live. Understandable. We'll get better. Yeah, they still hate the granary. Do some good as statues. Help them a little bit. Will we need another <coughs> farm? Possible. Should 
be stockpiling money pretty soon. The first feeding cycle is really kicking my ass here. This should be more than enough food. I just need to give it time. Just don't want to advance the time too much. <clears throat> Since the events uh, can snowball on us pretty hard. I like how you dehumanize your citizens by calling a feeding cycle. Well, if you. Uh, I suppose you don't know me much, but. I like to strip games to their mechanics a lot. Hey Dusty, welcome. I don't call these even people, they're just disposable meat bag number 66218, etc. etc. Same goes for any other game, basically. I don't see these as people, per se. They are just means to an end. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better, but still not great. One more day of uh, uh, sick, sick leave uh, tomorrow and then I'll have to go to work on Friday. So I hope I will be feeling uh, much better until then. Or by then, rather. These complain about desirability already. I'll have to give them a medium statue, right there. We have significant unemployment. I need to think about manufacturing the furniture we can do over here. Set it up. We will have a warehouse that will accept timber over here. Oh, we cannot do it yet. Okay, fair enough. Then there will be a road coming off of it. And unfortunately there is a lot of these uh, unusable spaces for me. So we'll just have to make do with what we have here. So do workshops for furniture, even though there are like places down here. Maybe we could fit more. Where to keep it like this. So it's four. Cut this road back. Snake the road through there. All houses merged. Yeah, that's uh, Augustus luxury. Exactly. Keep a road block there. We'll make an engineer and a prefect. As well as a doctor to cover this warehouse, otherwise it will get infested. And we need to save up 1200 to get this up and running. For now we can keep furniture industry off, just so we don't employ the people. Or actually I just said export. Uh, industry is off. Need to get the money. But opening the trade route and going into debt is viable. Because we would be able to go and sell this iron immediately. So part of me thinks that we should do that. There is no time to waste. Debt is a resource. Un uh, unless you uh, overdo it. Switch this on. Import timber. And we will set this up to accept. 8 units. And 24 units of furniture. The best one. <laughs> My Just a thousand denarii. Surely Caesar will forgive us if we make the money back very quickly. It's August, so it will be tight. But we sold some pottery. It's not bad, but the imports will be crippling. So probably one year of unhappy Caesar. Farm has collapsed. We do have an engineer, but I guess this doesn't allow... No, it allows him to go through. What's wrong there? This shouldn't be happening. 
increases. Hey, quasi welcome. This one is also damaged. Engineer is always walking down, I guess. We might place another one. And even replace this farm since it's about to collapse. Replace this guy. Switch to normal overlay. Alpha says, well, it's midnight here and I got to recover from some disco stone and streams early in the week. I'm gonna kinda call it here, have fun. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for tuning in. Let's go for some more plaza. Hopefully now this engineer will actually do his job. Need to watch him closely. Might still not be passing through the roadblock, right? No, it's turning him back. Why is it doing that? Maybe it's because there is no road behind it. But in case it's still terrible. It's still like the pottery. Might have to compromise and do something else then. <clears throat> it might mean that we need to switch this up. Not allow anybody. Remove the school. Remove these roadblocks. Remove this offshoot. Remove this. I will just keep regular services here. It's just too finicky. Isn't worth it. Make a prefecture there, <clears throat> and we are gonna replace the school over here. Just need to find a place for it, so that means that one of these houses will probably have to go. It can be this one. <clears throat> place it there. Should be okay with the spawning, hopefully. Yeah, the ch children has spawned in. Unfortunately, thanks to the imports and stockpiling of pottery, we are having a little bit of money issue. We're definitely going to have debt at the end of the year, which is fine. And since Caesar a gift, keep him happier. And see if we can recover next year. <clears throat> we should get some furniture done, should be good. For selling. We we'll have some unemployment, which is good. We, I suspect we have a bunch of free housing as well, right? Some of it, yeah. But we are now steadily approaching a point where we will need to appease the gods again. And spamming temples is going to cost us a bunch of levy, so it's not gonna be cheap. Or denari per month per each temple. <clears throat> I don't like it. We'll have to maybe do Larariai, even though they are horribly inefficient. Let's see the money resolve first. We're at least selling some furniture. <clears throat> January. Yeah, the money should be solving itself pretty quickly. Send the dispatch. I'll need to keep Caesar happy. Then recover debts and after that probably invest in some other industry, which will be mass pottery, I think. We'll make plaza there just for that guy. He's having some trouble with food. There is a protester because of the unemployment. That is okay. Wood is struggling, so make another farm. Need to get out of that so we can go back into that. Set up new industry. Increase trading of iron. Not too great. 
and I probably go straight back into that. Or should we wait? Let's check the map. There is an attack on its way and it's closing. We'll have to think about military as well, which means feeding troops. It means it's going to be tough. We might want to keep our supply post somewhere separate, like over here. A good place for it, I think. Start back on that. Make a few farms. Clean iron. Can get that pretty easily. We'll need a granary right here and then a supply post. And be there. Effect. Set this up to accept wheat. And we'll need to start making some forts. We probably will want to keep them nice and central. So I'd like this area to be forts, but let's switch to native risk. Don't want to piss them off <coughs> by placing a fort near them. We'll need to go into that for it. The enemy is too close to play safe. Need to make a barracks as well. <laughs> and we can probably have one somewhere close to it. Over here is actually okay. A bit here. Check if we have access to military academy. We don't. So our units are going to be a lot weaker. <coughs> but it should still be fine. Also money should be stabilizing since we are exporting a bunch of stuff. Just not sure about imports. Keeping some wood on hand at all times. And that did soak up some of, some of our unemployment as well. So people are no longer pissed too much. Still have 200 denarii dead. I don't think that one fourth will be enough, so after we get more money we should make another one. But before that, I would like to set up at least some clay and potter industry near the coast. It's not going to be easy with these deaths. They bought some furniture, which is great. Increased trading from Narbo is good. Keep us afloat at least a little bit. With a thousand denarii. Let's go and set up the coastal area. Will necessitate a bunch of cleaning of the trees, but it's okay. Raw materials for clay. Two should be enough. No, we can sell a bunch of it, so let's make three already. And then pottery. Probably want to keep this very accessible. Keep it there. Okay. Make the roads quickly like that and then around. Make a prefect and an engineer. As well as a road. I'm anchor right there. Will be road blocked. And what we'll do is set up warehouse over here. Should be reasonable distance. This quibble's going and this warehouse will actually accept pottery. 
we'll need to keep a doctor around here, which means all the other services as well. Let's do it. Hey, fanboy, welcome. Going well so far, you'll see. There is an invasion on its way, and we are not quite ready for it. We are setting, it, <laughs> setting this up here because we want the warehouse with the finished goods to be as close to here as possible, so we can cart it over. We'll set this up to get pottery. And we will probably make another warehouse at some point. <clears throat> somewhere over here for getting more of the juicy pottery to sell. Should also disallow out traders from coming here. It will be very bad if they spend most of their time going here. Fort is getting filled up. Let's check the messages. Employees needed. Gods are paced. We need to spend more temples, even though it will cost us a huge amount of levy. And you'll need to make another fort uh, once we hear the enemy is at the door. Sound. Until then I want to see some actual money. Let's hope we can make some. Immediately the timber imports struck me in the vault again. Fine, now we have some surplus. Still a god pissed. Check. No, it should be stabilizing. Need to make the fort. We'll do a mounted fort. Need to be bit there. Hopefully it's not in a native range. Doesn't look like it. Enemies at the door. So this is full of food. Unfortunately expanding this housing is not really possible. Unless we do something cheeky. With moving this road by one. But it would still not allow me to make a house here I don't think. Over here it would. Not sure about the clay supply though. Let's give it a shot. Ah, uh, people are close, come on. Fix it. I need to keep an access point, so let's just remove that. Don't place more wages. I need to <coughs> make sure that we match that. Just one denari. Okay. He sold all the iron that there was. So another iron mine would be kind of good. Keep it there. It's not worth much, but it's some money. Some money is better than no money. Would be great to set up a caravanserai as well, but you'd need to import marble for it, I think. And that would come from Iraqusai, which is by sea, which costs 3250 denari, and it needs to be set up over here. So that's not a thing that we can do right now. Should actually think about setting up another housing area instead. But only after we get like 1500. And before that it might be necessary to make another javelin fort. Just to survive these attacks. I think that's reasonable even though we will go into that. A little bit. Recovery. 
Just need to be safe from these attacks. Especially since we don't have academy access, uh, the soldiers will not fight very well. Especially worried about any kind of native uprising. Stuff like that. They're almost out of debt. That is fine. Should be getting the pottery there, but let's check if there is any stock piled up. Yeah, first pieces of pottery are being made and stockpiled over there. Good. Might need to increase output a little bit, but before that we definitely need a new housing area before we, uh, we will have trouble with employees. Of traders passing through, but sadly not many goods to sell currently. But it's getting better. Need to check out warehouse space and do not cut off this area. We we'll probably have a warehouse here and another one there and then doctor and services over here and keep piling on pottery over here. So is the most valuable export that we have. Let's do it. A little block this off. Make an engineer and put that as a mistake. Keep the road like that. We can have an engineer and a prefect there. These little nooks and then a doctor there. Those will actually get pottery to sell. Seven hundred denarii, we need a little bit more. Twelve hundred is not quite enough, I don't think. Check the natives. And keep a reservoir. Can be either right here or here. I need to pick one of these spots, they are mutually exclusive. Placing it there wouldn't benefit me much more than having it here, so let's keep it there. Got this. There is a bunch of fertile land in use, but it's also prime housing area. So we need to choose for which purpose we'll use this area for. Gonna do both. See how many fountains we could get down here? Probably not that many. Let's fill this reservoir up. We could have a fountain there, to cover up quite a few houses. Then something up here. Still retain some of this farmland. Probably fairly reasonable, but the staircase is always bad to include in your blocks. Because it's terrible. So mess up the pal thing a lot. There is all, um, only so much we can do though, so keep it. Design this area. Hey, I'm back. Welcome. Mm, I don't think so. I think it was Etruscus Bella, right? That was the smaller map where you actually also export pottery, but there is like a corner water area that is uh, like enclosed by rocks. In that map you can actually get clay just from the enclosed rocky areas with water. What makes a city pretty, do you think? Well, I will probably 
refer to Baron's prettiness category of cities because I myself don't care much for aesthetics. Uh, and that is that the city actually has a bunch of unnecessary spread out uh, uh, desirability things that Augustus provides, like different sides of columns and stuff like that. And then probably have like an entrance and exit point to the city, which we cannot do on this map because this is designated as trade area and we cannot do much about that currently. Maybe we will shift it sometime in the future. But for the moment we'll need to keep it there to keep the city viable. Uh, usually Baron does this as well where he actually plays the map like uh, standard and then he has to go and uh, add in a bunch of the stuff at the end to make it look prettier and then take a screenshot. Hey Myung, welcome. It's not as monstrous as some of the other maps. Oh, it's quite palatable I think. But it definitely is difficult if you are not prepared for the difficulty spike. Definitely still harder than the campaign. Especially the ruggedness of the terrain and lack of water. So next up we need to set up the housing area. So we ended up with designing the road network. Let's go back. Before that is clicked. Make the road. to make it like that can even do something hideous like this to the fountain can be there make some houses check again forgot instantly it can it needs to be there so that means house there, need to keep away from the natives. This will actually be out of reach of the fountain, I believe. Yes. We will need to not make this house. We will scrap it without losing money. You'll be able to fit in another house there and there. So in the end we should fit quite a few people over here. Doesn't look like it currently. Let's make a prefect, engineer and a doctor. More money should be made soon. We just spent like... 1400 on the new block, so that's reasonable. We'll have to wait a little bit. Just this says, got a question about the have a map in your honorary team. Would that be a random map or could I wish for something like, for example, make a map of the area where I live? Well, uh, it is a request, therefore I will make it according to your wishes. If you redeem a map, then uh, you can choose a game in which it will be. It doesn't need to be in Caesar. It can also be in games like Stronghold series, or it could be in Age of Empires, or anything like that. Any strategy game basically counts. Anything that has an editor. And then specifies, uh, you need to specify things like what uh, challenge the map is going to have. What area is, uh, is is it supposed to be based on, because it needs to have some sort of historical background mostly. So if you provide a name, I will search for it and find out as much as I can about it. Or just provide me with some link to like a Google Maps. Or you can even, uh, what Blobber did actually is you take just MS Paint and you paint me a, a topographic map of the area just rudimentary with few lines and then I can actually incorporate that if it's not supposed to be based on a real geographic position and just about gameplay features is good if you provide something like that so I know exactly what to follow. Of course you can always just uh, tell me to have my uh, way with the map but <clears throat> you know how is that going to end up. It's going to be something like this. Okay, that is not even a question. So. 
Depends on what you want from that. Yeah, I know what's coming up. What's your salt amount? <laughs> That's the most important question. And the prices, uh, prices will actually rise on the redemptions as do in other channels. So if we have a redemption, it will probably climb by either 5 or 10k salt crystals. So anybody that can reach it first will actually get a very good deal on it. Also there is like, I need at least a week to put it together along with other stuff that I have to do. So a week is probably a reasonable time to wait for that, I believe. Okay, they are moving in. We'll need to keep another house there. So could we keep it there? Good. Not gonna do as much good though. Still fit a house there. The fountain access. Could reach over there, which is great. Just need these to move in. It's not of the essence. Yeah, it's not. But I want to keep my promises. Very important. We should get more people coming in. We do. Still have some money, which is good. Probably means increasing the output, but it still looks like we have no, no, no. This is quite enough for now. <clears throat> Should check the other trade opportunities. Buy land. We could still sell a bunch more iron, I suppose. Other than that, we need to check uh, see trade routes. They would actually buy weapons and some iron. Also could set up manufacturing for furniture and sell that. I see, but weapons are definitely going to be the main deal over here. Problem is that on this map, you don't actually have any rocks on the coastline. This is all cliffs. You cannot mine cliffs. So we will have to utilize this high ground area where there are rocks or actually use this. I like to use this. Because there are no natives over here, so I believe it's better, even though it's a little bit further away. But before we can do that, we actually need more people. Let's watch this. A barbarian's attack, so we need to get on that. We'll clear up the trees from the high ground. Take our javelineers and send them over here. Probably a reasonable area to hold out in. Need to fight in a close, close order if we don't want to take a massive casualties and set the horsemen in front. It's not. Pro it's probably not going to be massive attack, but I also didn't expect a small one. About 30, 40 units. It seems about right. Should be able to handle those. They are the regular enemies, it's not natives. So we should be able to skirmish with them a little bit. Unless they are immediately moving out. They are. Let's see if we can get around of Jalen's off. They are approaching the staircase. One of them died, at least something. Clear this. And these. Back. And these.
they took some casualties, so that is fine. And the horseman in. Set them to other formation if we can. There. X Men actually have huge damage. They also got the cleave right through, yeah. <clears throat> but our javelin units are intact, which is the most important thing for if there are more attacks soon, we should still be able to fight them. And we have a bunch of money now, thanks to all of our great exports of pottery. Make uh, another tent and another one. This should still be coverable by a fountain. Yes, but we need uh, the houses to move in first before we do anything else. We also need to farm this. Let's check farm space. Probably be a reasonable amount of farms, but we will keep access to their farm there is okay gonna be it and we will make a <coughs> granary right here get like that roadblock this off roadblock this off we don't want the staircase to be part of this block I was going to save up for that and ask him to make one of the great lakes area well we can have multiple redemptions of it. Just depends on who saves up for it first, right? Then the price will increase slightly, but it's still not going to be crushing. I want to keep it fairly reasonable since that's like one of the few things that are original about me. So I want to keep it as a feature. We'll need a doctor as well. Keep this place from Dying to disease. Breaking news. <laughs> what are the breaking news? Wrong chat ignore. Oh, okay. <laughs> no problem. Accept tweet over there. We'll make a market there. Let's move a temple. We'll move Mars from over there. Give them a school and a theater. We'll pay even more wages, so let's get on top of that. Need these scraps to move in quickly. We are missing some people thanks to all these buildings, but it will get solved pretty quickly. Can also make another fort. I like to keep them centralized, but not necessarily want to cut off anything from existence. Another javelin fort. Is there a rock? Yeah, there is a rock there. Make the fort over here. There is a protester. They will get water pretty soon. I just need them to merge first. This guy will need to have his personal fountain, I think. Try check. Yeah, it doesn't reach him. I guess it's not worth it to have him remove the tent. Rise, rise on iron. Not bad. We'll need to spam some horrible plaza for these. Make them evolve. The 
get enough people. Then we need to worry about sea exports. Open this area up. We need to make a ship's bridge over here. We have everything, we don't need the trees. See what we have to work with here. There are no timber yards, so it's completely fine to remove them. Ship's bridge. There. You'll need a dock over here. It's the only place we can fit one, I think. Need to think about weapons first. Probably use this area then. But we need labor for it. So we'll need to wait up on these guys to become small casa and for people to move in them. Which will happen pretty soon. Let's check housing advisor. Still plenty of space. People are pleased, so they should be moving in. And also set up another housing area over here. It will just be a little tricky to use this farmland for just building on. That's fine, there is more over here. But the space is really tight. Keep the road like that. Here's this. Put like this. In some tents, and move people there. There is no issue with that because they will not merge in awkward fashion. Keep a house there as well. We'll have to roadblock this area off and add some services. Need to find spaces for it. Check farming space. Would fit farms all the way there, but not closer. <coughs> Would have to remove the road, and that's not plausible. There's a bunch of fertile land up here as well, which we could easily route into this. It would require a set of services of, on its own though. Might be problematic. We are getting the people. Fountain them up. Need to find a good space to, <coughs> to water a bunch of them. This wouldn't be bad.
now the stream into water and have it right there. Oh, it's a bad spot, I think. Blocks of a house. Always bad. Instead, what we'll do is have it there. Just need these to move in first. We'll have to remove a temple close to Venus. Have her in the end. There is some fertile land there, but it's minimal. Not too worried about that. Venus temple right there. They will enjoy a theater. <clears throat> Need to take off a place for it. This would be great for. Yeah, we can. We could do destination walkers actually. Keep an actor's corner here. Run the computer says it was news about the old Canadian chief of defense staff was pleaded guilty to bad stuff and he's going to jail. It's cool news. But I meant to DM someone. Okay. Not an issue. So that's looking good. Probably save some money for making the docks area. It was for a celebration, really. Was it that? Was he that horrible leader? I guess it must be right if he's convicted. Must have done some bad stuff. Oh, I I think I know. What do you mean? Isn't uh, he supposed to be blamed for the crackdowns? I guess so, right? Even though it's a minister of defense, wouldn't that be minister for interior instead? This is a good place to keep a fountain. Do it. And you'll have to make a uh, uh, plaza for these. We'll add a market. I mean, Canada is different. Chief of Defense Staff is the top general in the military. Yeah, that makes sense, but I meant the uh, police forces, right? Those were the ones that participated in the crackdowns, mostly. Or did uh, military stroll in? EDS for short. Okay. Every country has it done differently. Different group, different news. Okay. Let's make some new farms. Need to connect them up. Have to make them hideous that they are connected. This over here. And could probably do squiggles just so that it connects faster to get an area. Better roadblock over here and over here. Bad place for it. Make it one out further. Defect engineer should be fine. Now these should be getting fed. They are. They will require a school as well. I don't think we will need to access the slow ground area, so let's keep it there.
mm -hmm. and we should be getting some unemployment so that means docks and weapons manufacturing he wants wheat so let's send him wheat let's check our uh, savings 100 denari not enough for a gift yet make some mines we'll need plenty of weapons it workshops seems like enough another mineable area so let's avoid it if you can this will be six something like this Doesn't need to connect to there, but at the same time it would be great if we could cut the weapons up. Let's do it. And the weapons warehouse can be over here. Connect it up. Remove this. And we'll need to keep an engineer and probably two prefects around this will need actually connect these roads up just to make this a little better let's replace the prefect over here and let's keep it like this but you'll need to roadblock this This will accept weapons. This will gobble up much more unemployment, I think. Yep, a lot of people should be still moving in and a bunch of them. So this will be fine. Let's check out housing advisor. Yeah, still space for a thousand people. Might have to worry about gods soon. Pretty bad and grim prospect for me. Means that we'll use some of our hard earned cash for a hideous Larrarium dump. Actually, this is supposed to be nice. Maybe not. Maybe just sprinkle them around in the city. I think that's better. A little bit. I'm just having a hideous dumps of them. Let me check my phone and look quickly. Okay. Uh, sprinkled in what we can there. We'll fit in some our area here and there. They are not covering many people, so we need as many of these as possible. I'm thinking about another fort actually. Should probably fit it over here. To mount it. We've got over 2000 population. Good. They're getting access to the theater now because of the destination walker. It's good. Let's check Caravanzarai. So we will we'll place it down here. Connect this up. And we are blocked. It requires some marble. Okay, place an engineer and a prefect. We need some better houses for goods. So 
shot of this offshoot. And we'll need to do a doctor as well. These don't get infested. This one will get clay. This one will get timber. Need to set up clay warehouse. So accept clay. Replace this with a clay pit. And timber should be getting over here. Might increase the amount we accept, but no, it's fine. It should be getting there pretty quickly. Uh, unfortunately, marble will need to come by sea. And even opening the trade route will be very, very costly for us. Wait until we have some more money before we actually do that. From base even more wages and quite a bit of them, so let's match them. Emperor is grateful for the goods we sent him. Bunch of pottery now, so they should buy it up. It should give us a solid am amount of money. Disable raiders from coming here. Let's check our population. We have space for many people. They are streaming, but slowly. Takes them quite a while to settle, the <coughs> settle over there. Let's make a dock. There. We'll set up some warehouses. We we'll make a ship's bridge. This low bridge would be fine. But a dock on the other side will uh, double up all the space. Life door. Enemies are door. So the warehouses will need to go to a different area. So what we might do is have them up here. Or over here. Here it seems fine. Connect it up to the dock. We need a prefect, engineer, and a doctor. Designate weapons to be sold. Uh, you'll need to open a trade route if you are Tarantum. Or Tinges. You can see that use all of them buy weapons. It's fairly expensive. Let's fetch weapons here. We sell any pottery by sea. No furniture, iron, fine. No pottery, so we'll have to go with weapons. We manufacture uh, furniture over here as well. If we designate a specific city to trade with a specific dock, open up Capua. Weapons. We have some stock piled up, we do. Be fine. <coughs> this mine is actually cut off from area, so let's actually replace this engineer's post with the Lararium. 
and we will need to stretch this road by one tile there. I can make some Larari right here. Another fort for javelins. Caesar is upset, but that's because we wasted a massive amount of money on opening trade routes now. Should get the money back from selling the weapons pretty soon. At some point it would be good to evolve our housing into small insula and tax them. It would require a bunch of pottery though. We might have to wait on that a little bit. Ship should be coming. Hello ship. We have designated that to south, so no reason it shouldn't come. It just takes a while, I guess. Goats are getting pissed again. Check. Retated. They will need another set of temples. Mercury, Mars and Venus. No open sea trade dudes. Oh, this is land? Oh, it's Capio land. Very confusing. Okay, so Tarentum is also land. They will buy weapons. So now we are in a predicament because all these weapons need to be sold. So let's open this. Or Syracuse Eye. Syracuse Eye because we need the marble anyway. And the land traders will come here to trade, which is okay, I guess. Have to disable land traders from coming here. It will be money. Might need to set up another mine. You have one there and another one there. And fit it. Workshops. For weapons. And fit two of them there. Mine will need to be placed differently. That is okay. Now we need to fiddle around with this road. Make it slightly more hideous. But as long as it works, it's fine. Be making plenty of money. Next up is probably evolutions and taxes. Make an amphitheater over here. And a warehouse. We shift this. Move this doctor. Where else? There is not many spaces where you can fit him. But this is a perfect place for a warehouse. 
try to do it. Keep this road straight. Warehouse over here. Roadblock. Doctor. Yes, we will get pottery for consumption and we will just keep it 16 units, quite enough. We might need to increase output over here. Shops for pottery. Raw materials, clay pad. Need to keep this open. Let's do two of them. Like that. Workshops for pottery. It's four. It's enough. Now connect this up. Roadblock it. And it will need its own set of services. It might be a bit of an issue. Might actually do something else with this roadblock. Not a lot, a lot of road to cover. Just having an uh, engineer at prefect there will be enough. Cover it that way. Nice and dense like that. Need the gladiator school. Where the actual prefect is. There, so she, he should be covering this pretty well. Let's prepare a forum. Another one there. Be our first insulate block. Be getting pottery pretty soon. And let's make a warehouse. Actually, let's take this one, and this one will, will get just 16 units of weapons and accept 16 units of marble. And we will have to import marble and copy some amounts of it if we want to have advanced patricians. And even some oracles and stuff like that. First of all, we need to construct the caravansarai, so it will be our priority. We have the maximum amount of forts, so that's good. Eight furniture, can call that. Can probably expand the furniture workshops. Let's check if any sea trade route actually sells us timber. This one doesn't. This one would. And this one would buy the uh, furniture? No. We just have to cart it over. But plenty of land trade routes sell us timber. And if I remember correctly, there will be an earthquake that will block off this caravan route. So we will have to make something else anyway. It will be coming up here probably, or around here. But keeping exports here was very lucrative for us. We would probably have to set up getting warehouses over here. Price rise on marble, just as we start to import it. So it's good. Take all of our units. See how many enemies there are. Shouldn't be that hard, I don't think. Even take these. them around the rock, I think. <laughs> so 
a small attack. Might be simultaneous one though. Might be another one coming at the same time from the other edge. Information. to four. Check our savings. Should be able to afford a gift soon. And the furniture. And we have marble. So we need to get like two warehouses getting marble. This will be one and another one here. This will be getting it. And then we will need to make a worker camp and architect's guild. Be great to keep this area accessible. This does not need to be accessible currently, but later it might be necessary. Unfortunately, the worker camp is really large. Not fit it easily unless we jam it over here. It's a possibility. But it would block off some farms, I guess. Not too great. Might shift it. But it will block off this area entirely. If you ever wanted to use it. There is still the staircase, so it's good. And architect scaled can go down here without an issue. How is this looking like? They should have access to pottery pretty soon. We need to forbid traders from coming here. They might be stealing all of our pottery. We have plenty of it over here. Yeah, we do. Just about the carter is going all the way around, most likely. Because of this fort, what's deleted. Need to make javelins anyway, I misplaced cavalry units. So it's fine. Place it here. Um, it might impact desirability slightly. It will be okay. Try and see if we get the pottery to this area soon enough. <clears throat> 3000 population, we have some unemployment as well, which means that we need to do something about it. It's probably manufacturing more furniture or sell something, I guess. You would buy wine, iron, or weapons. Land trading? I think this is bugged. It's, it costs too much to open right now. Good. Remove one of these warehouses. Or actually make it stop accepting stuff and disable it. We can. Too many weapons, can't even sell those. Keep some tags going, 8%. Now there is pottery, so they should grab it. They are grabbing it. Check for evolutions. They'll need a bathhouse as well. Let's make one. And be there. 
And over here we can have it. So that is reasonable, I hope. Might be. Not sure if there is water reaching all the way there. There is. The school will get moved. Over there. This road like this. Bathhouse. There. Now we should have them evolve. Hopefully. Get some problems with unemployment for sure. Mullins way. them evolved. Good. Next up we need to figure out how to provide some jobs to them. Let's check housing advisor. Not too many. And move in. So just few towers might be good. Or we just make something by the docks. Let's check olives. Inches with sell us olives. Let's open the route. I want to see if it's yeah, it's it was bugged. It's actually a C trade route, but it displayed as land trade route. And we can manufacture some oil there. Vines as well. Yeah, Yakiza is selling vines, but can we buy vines from land? This will buy more of our stuff. We'll buy vines from land as well. Probably better. And vine from sea, right? No, cannot get more vine by sea. So instead, what we'll do is make our own vines over here. Yeah, it has to be done. Another dock area and then some workshops for wine. Well, you need some workshops for oil. Workshops for oil. Better houses. services around here so engineer prefect and a doctor doctor there this will accept 24 wine and eight vines only accept uh, C trade routes this one will accept eight olives and 24 uh, oil. Only accept C. Start importing. Build some stockpile. Is the caravansarai ready? Still no marble, but they are bringing it. Need to make an oracle somewhere up there eventually. Think about patricians. Once we get money, we'll be around there. Uh, need to evolve these into insulae as well. Means that we will get a warehouse over here for. We'll get pottery. 8 units and will not accept any traders. Need to connect a road through there. Make some roadblocks. Ah, and these guys will need a bathhouse as well. It'll be a massive pain to get in here. 
Might just have to remove houses. Hey Katie, welcome. It's going well. I just saw a bug, visual bug, where Red Root displayed as being land, but it's actually sea. I knew about it, but it was still confusing a little bit. Bad place. I need to set up gladiators and actors. We'll cut into our farm production, but <coughs> cannot do much about that. Pretty weird, but you look into it. Okay, it might be something because of the editing. The safe editing, I'm not sure. Maybe we will find out more. We'll need an amphitheater. That will be pretty horrendous to get, <clears throat> unless we use destination walkers with amphitheater going somewhere useless, like up here. Looks like that might work actually. You'll need to keep this road there instead. Red map is confusing because a lot of the empire related values are duplicated and some values are used for drawing the map and values are used for game behavior, which is why it's a pain. Yeah, I can see why. And it's one of the reasons that Avdishis tool actually doesn't work right. Because it's like that. Might move this warehouse one tile, allow passage. This will get pottery, 8 units. The safe editing tool from Avdish. Hey Jake. Warehouse is infested, but we do have a doctor. So I'll just have to make another one. Or hope that it actually fixes the issue. Let's move the doctor instead. The trade map issue is that on the, this custom map, when I click on the trade map, this trade route actually displayed like it was land based, but it's actually a sea trade route. And once you open it, it will actually display correctly. It's not an issue for me because I know, but it might be an issue for someone who is counting on it being the case. Like you design your economy around that and then you find out it's not at all like that. That might be bad. Let's pick the land trader capacity. Upgrade. And you'll need some timber to make a lighthouse. Mm, I actually think we need a, a lighthouse. But we definitely will need at least one more farm since the caravansarai will get very hungry very soon. Let's make two more farms. Large market. It is Caravanserai. It's a building uh, that like uh, provides base for merchant caravans in the city. And it actually stockpiles and consumes food. And it costs a levy. 8 denarii per month. It has 20 employees in it and it allows you to pick a land policy. So if you click on it, then pick one of these for a price. For 500 you can activate it and it will be active. Whatever. Not until you change it. Or you lose the caravansarai, or lose food or land employees. So I picked the additional trade capacity. This is very good, since we sell bulk goods a lot on this map. Make a Moracle. At a location where we have access to them, so let's use it to pacify the gods. Some large castles because people hate where they, where they live. 
So let's try to fix that with some statues. Sounds nice. It's quite good. I like it. It's a crutch. Horrible crutch. Might even do <clears throat> a large statue over here, or rather an equestrian statue. The name sounds Mongol. <laughs> Caravanzarai? It's probably Latin, right? I don't think it's Mongol. But it's possible. Who knows? We also try to fit in a forum over here. Nobody should escape taxes. But it's tough. Get anything. F maybe, just maybe, we could allow tax collector to come through here. But it's very unreliable. I'm not sure if he's going to do it. Version. Okay, makes sense since Romans did trade via the Silk Road with China. Okay. Some debt. Will be okay. Because we are manufacturing a bunch of stuff. Mongol calls it Serai for Palace. Caravan Palace. Makes sense. We'll block this off. And this. That momentarily. Just had a bunch of expenses. Yeah, money is rolling back in, but need to build more. Look, bells. <laughs> Look at these merchants. So many. It's horrid. You'll need to set up uh, some warehouses for selling weapons to them closer to the actual route than them going all the way over here it's going to be a pain but we can have some over here too much space space yeah space after your map today it definitely might feel like it but you can notice the lack of water For example, this coastline, it's all crammed in here with cliffs, cannot make a reservoir out of here. We're gonna have one over here, which is like a starting area, and then one over here. But after that, this is the uh, maximum map size currently available in Caesar 3, it's enormous, it's called enormous province. And we can have a reservoir over here, but it's very hard to get it out of here. It needs to go all the way around here, these valleys. We'll have to ha have our patricians over here. It's going to be a massive expense. What I want to do is set up warehouses here for weapons. Make a prefect, engineer, and you'll need a doctor as well. Grand Temple to Neptune would give us water, that is correct. But it's not reasonable. It would cost tens of thousands of denarii. Get weapons. <laughs> Get even more weapons, and we can even mine over here. I think we will use this anyway for the main iron area. Disable this warehouse as well. Not get it anymore. Once it's empty we will actually stop getting weapons there. Thank <laughs> you. 
to make a few mines. I have to keep this on a separate road network though. Um, I wonder if you can reach 100 prosperity without water sources. <laughs> without water sources, like with wells. Hey Zere, welcome. No, if you have global labor pool enabled, they don't require labor access. Think of a <clears throat> way to set up some manufacturing. Although we might actually want to have just a warehouse for iron over here. Might be better. Stretch this road around. This will accept iron. We will do that instead. <clears throat> might as well add another mine. Even another one. So many play, uh, palaces as possible around the temple, plus lots of people in large shacks. Yeah, that's kind of a theme of a map that I will link in a minute. It's not mine, but it's on Haven, so it's <coughs> publicly accessible. Look at this. Looks like none of the trade routes actually want to sell us olives. Dinges should be selling us olives. From Syracuse I. Syracuse I. Syracuse I. So, might be bugged. And the Dinges trade route might be... Snarbo. Massilia. Massilia, Massilia, Massilia. Need to watch out for more caravans. Capia. Narbo. Narbo. Need to disable traders coming here. Yep, you are. Tinges. Yeah, Tinges is land trade route. Horrendous. The bug is horrendous. Need to remove these. Make some oil. Uh, we'll need to manufacture it as close as possible to over here. Might as well change this to be. 25 uh, 24 oil and 8 olives. And drop these iron mines for workshops for oil. This warehouse is getting pottery. It will get 20, it will get 16 units and it will accept 16 units of iron. That should work. Let's check housing advisor. I don't think we have many free spaces. No, not at all. None at all. I'm going to set up another housing area pretty soon. Means that we have to tap our water source. Let's do it. And let's do mass clear. There is fertile area over here. It's guarded by some natives, of course, but classify them eventually. Reservoir in there. And we can make this into a loop, I think. It will be hideous, but it will work, kinda. Ooh. 
At least that's the idea. Try to make it work. <clears throat> Keep the road like that. Down here, around this rock. The two spaces between stairs and this. We need to go around the stairs like that. We don't want them to connect at any point. Connect to that. Want to go around this rock, connect to this, connect this up, then go with squiggles, and this will need to be farmed, so we will have to figure out something <laughs> with the farming space first. Want to have a granary somewhere over here as well. block of farm space but at the same time it might be necessary these two check some farms so it does block off more than you would think Quickly. Connect this up to there and there. We need to keep this on a separate uh, road network. Have an engineer and prefect over here, and same over here. But we'll need to add a doctor right there. Might as well add a few lararii around. This will set to accept wheat. Same with this. I will start filling in the tents. Both of these are not as efficient as they could be, but <coughs> I'm glad that I can fit anything here. This is very tight for a loop. Having any semblance of housing area is actually an achievement. <laughs> Keep a house there. Same over here. Earthquake. Need to keep some more services around, so let's place them. Weird one tile building, it's called Lararium. And Larari are actually. Uh, it's a, this small shrine is dedicated to Lares, the ancestral spirits of Roman people. Small sacrifices and prayers may be made here. It actually offers you coverage for all gods for 10 people, each one of these. So you would need 75 of them to cover the same amount as a small temple of each kind. Good. And they provide slight desirability bonus to the area as well. There is an earthquake there. We'll cut off the trader route. So now they will actually not come here anymore, which is okay. We'll just take them slightly longer to travel. Need to cut this off, or rather, open this up. Had some devolutions, now they are evolving again. I guess traders stole some pottery, yeah, looks like it. I'll get some oil done pretty soon. Need to cram in those stands. Need to keep some spaces for markets as well though. Market over there and one more market here would be good. We'll give them a theater 
and a school over here and they will need a guard so let's shift one of the temples with mercury actually everybody should get mercury i think who do these guys have? Mars. Play some with Mercury. And we'll replace this one with Mars. And check out this area. Who do they have? This large castle needs to evolve, so let's add a goddess statue there. And check out the temple. Venus to Mercury replace this one with Venus let's check this we already have a bunch of stuff so we should probably construct ourselves Grand Temple to Mercury Can be there. It will not be pretty, but it will work. Check if it can be fitted. Yeah, it cannot. We could move the barracks. Barracks are no big deal. And have them up here without an issue. Need to destroy this one. it there and we will put these try to delete that Let's check actually after get employment to every temple we are missing a Neptune and series Cram in some cram them in somewhere else. What space is really limited, so you don't want them to be in valuable spaces basically. Maybe just keep the temple dump expanding in this direction. Well, space is limited where we actually have already set up things. And no, I don't enjoy playing microscopic maps, Jake. One of the reasons I rarely make small maps. Just feels like... Feels like no. Uh, let's do Neptune. Just when you can fit, if, if I zoomed out like I can in Augustus, the map would be like this. It's a niche, I can see it being played like once in a lifetime and then never again. But we have very different tastes in Caesar 3, I know that. And that's fine. Everybody can have their own fun, of course, and make their own maps. We have plenty of wine, we should export it. I think we can sell it by boat. Let's do it. Struggling with people a little bit. Uh, take care to cram in these people and then water them. Water these. Make another reservoir there for watering more of them. Mountain there. Another one. There. This house needs to go. 
Gonna make it here. Feel I want it. They should have access to a guard. Not sure about the Mercury Walker though. They seem to be missing religious access. We don't have enough money to justify plaza right now. We need to wait a little bit. It looks like we might actually have to make another temple. It's gonna be... Is this all Larari? This? Let's bring another temple over there. Let's make it a Mars. Fire in the city. These large tents have not merged properly. It's one of the issues you have when you wear them before you actually set up the. Uh, after you set up the food, they'll merge very weirdly. I'll need to keep a prefect here. There is a massive fire. Do we have two in the loop? It's not enough. So now we know. This was a doctor. Yeah. Doctor there and some housing. You need to wait on the mergers again. Actually, we should turn off this fountain for a little bit. This one as well. The devotions will not matter. Just need them to merge properly. Okay, this one is done. Activate the fountain again. One is done as well, so it's activated. This will most likely not be enough food, at least initially, so I need to make a mission post. This can be another farm. We'll go there. It means we cannot have one there, so we can, might as well just make it like this. Should probably roadblock this off. This could actually become a granary. But first I need to check how many farms I can get here. Maybe granary is not necessary here since this is still a reasonable distance to go. Could cut off the area. Remove the roadblock, just slathering services one on top of the other. <coughs> and we could bring a road around here to use more of this if need be. This grenade is actually full. Make some more plaza. And give them... Amphitheater. <laughs> I think we can have it here. But... Only if we move this road. We can actually snake aqueduct out eventually when we need it. We need a gladiator school and actress colony. We have to get. Might use this area just provided like that and don't use the first setup or maybe just use this we still have unemployment so it's not that bad to have extra prefect and engineer let's take actors colony as well it's a pretty terrible place This up, this up. Roadblox. Disabled one of them. Okay. Make an engineer and a prefect. Oh. 
slaughter this and the hideous plaza. Could have another house over there, so let's do it. I hope it merges properly. Disable the fountain for a little bit. Need to do it. All these traders backtracking is terrible. Because of the furniture, yeah. It's love to sell me timber. one of the reasons I wanted to shift my timber production, but it's not gonna happen. And I just noticed a mistake. We will not be able to get iron over here, is uh, not iron, a water over here easily because of these iron mines. So that might be an issue for us. Uh, these guys are actually stealing uh, furniture. It's terrible. Let's find the market. Disable it. This market cannot do it as well. Not afford to give them furniture. Same with this guy. And they will need a bath house. We'll probably have to remove a tent for it, so let's remove this one. There's the bath house there and hope that it covers everybody. See if there are any issues with that. This should eventually run out of uh, furniture. We can still begin construction on the Grand Temple, but it would require a large quantity of money. <laughs> Two and a half grand for it, just to start making it. Could use one more warehouse for getting pottery, I guess. Oh, it looks fine. The beer of this patch is ready. Let's sell it. Let's send it. And send a gift as well. After so many grueling years of no gifts, as it should be, with low salary, because otherwise it's a horrible crutch and makes favor trivial. And Caesar, not a feature of this game. We are able to just constantly <coughs> bribe him and ignore the requests. The hundred denarii in debt, and that's not great. You'll have to save up for <coughs> the Grand Temple. And I'm not sure where we can actually place it. Let's check the grounds over here. It could be there, but it's not perfect. Could move these temples slightly. Alternatively, we could have it over here and just connect the rest of the road to it. Actually, it sounds better, I think. Still missing some money. Doesn't look like we are selling the wine. Let's check who is buying it. This is actually a land trade route, so that's what's confusing me. But it's, if it's just Tinges that buys it, it might allow them to do it. Capio would buy it as well. Could sell more weapons as well. There are more weapons. Do it. And allow land traders to come and buy this. Terrible. It would be much better to have a bunch of warehouses set up to get wine and then sell it from somewhere, but we have to set up a dedicated area for it. Maybe up here would be a possibility. Let's check. We don't have pottery, so that means that we need a warehouse for it. We can have it over here. Need to not cut access. Get this to get and get 16 units. I have plenty in the docks, so I 
this shouldn't be an issue. Thousand, still not enough money. Sure, you'll love it. Levies is fourteen hundred per year, almost as much as, as I spent on constructing things. Wages are almost seven thousand, imports are five thousand, receipts fourteen thousand, taxes are eleven hundred. Let's check taxes. I think I have one block that is untaxed. That's a horrible placement of a forum. Let's check tax income. It's new. Yeah, this is new. This is fine. But this is somehow not connected. So I need to connect that up. And this one is not doing its job. So I'll have to remove it. And. Remove a house. It's a hard decision, but we have to do it. If you want to get any money out of these people, which we definitely want, it stopped from the new trade route. Course, right, Tarantum. Yeah, I don't think they will buy any more weapons from us. We'll see if it's the case, and we can disable this warehouse. Don't have any need for it currently. Make the Grand Temple. I need to set the this view to native so I can have the minimized overlay. It will necessitate connecting these two up and making uh, two roadblocks. So that our architect can actually go and construct the thing. We are running low on food here, so add another farm. Cannot have hungry soldiers. These should get pottery soon, but we need to disable traders from stealing the pottery. Neptune is upset. We don't have any ships, I don't think, apart from the trade ships. It's not too bad, but yet another set of temples means even more lave. Lave is going to be crushing pretty soon. God should calm down eventually. Let's set this to accept iron instead of weapons. Be selling it in bulk pretty soon. Barbarian invasion. that we need to shift our formation again. It's okay. Move them into tight formation again. This should work out fairly well. Against these, they are Move again quite quickly, but it's not too many of them. Let's check. This one needs to be shifted as well. Migration because of unemployment. Good. 
do is pay a little bit more than Rome, but we are already leading money like crazy with three wages. Uh, what we would really need is to set up some sort of labor sink. Could have the form there, but I doubt it will do its work properly. Might have to remove a house again in order for us to have it function. Tip of the band aid, make it here. <laughs> Return troops to the efforts. be getting significant amount of money but what you really need is set up a huge manufacturing area for furniture and solid and mass. They would go for imports first and then sell us stuff but it would be like a backtracking going around this cliff. Maybe use this area for it. Might be enough. Base. would bring a bunch of money to our coffers. That would be great. So we should have a warehouse. But problem is that after we do that, we would have to move all of this. And probably we would have trouble with exporting pottery from here. So instead we are going to set up this warehouse to accept full amount. And you will cancel these workshops. I need to move this all here. So we will have problem is that with getting warehouses, the car will actually not deliver workshops. That still might be pretty bad. Uh, let's just let's just accept that we are going to have inefficiencies then. Keep a warehouse for timber there. Workshop for furniture. I want to have the road there, so we can have the workshop over here. One, two warehouses probably, because there are more than few trade routes that would sell us furniture or timber rather. Make workshops for furniture. Set them up over here, plenty of them. Up a prefect and an engineer, also a doctor, because of the warehouses, and set this to accept timber and do 16 units and 16 units of furniture. Now they should find labor and provide us with some labor sink. Yeah. Need to utilize this area for housing a little bit later. It will cost us a lot of money to keep importing marble for this. Gonna happen eventually. Should also make few oracles. Keep the gods of our back, and then we can maybe remove one set of temples. Would be good for our love. Eh?
you could have additional iron mine over here or workshops that a workshop there I can see a carter with free iron why is it off oh refuse to work okay full sentiment means that they will not work so we are losing money like crazy might need to stop importing marble for a little bit. F42 in the city, that should be enough for another stage, right? Yeah. Okay. And the, all the timber imports are costing us a lot. We should be selling some furniture pretty soon, hopefully. Okay, it will get balanced out. Plague in the city, warehouse. Check this warehouse is infested. Like a doctor then and an engineer and a prefect. Five hundred denar in debt. Thousand denar in debt. We should provide them with surplus entertainment maybe make them a little happier not sure if I can give them jobs and not ruin myself financially it's 9% unemployment and they are going absolutely apeshit Uh, slightly out of debt, but then we are in debt again. Maybe it's December, we'll be out of debt for December. Let's check. We then are in debt, 100 plus. The imports are crashing, especially the timber. Have some furniture to sell. So hopefully that will even out. Be selling plenty of it, but they are constantly bringing more timber. Pestilence, right? Let's check where it is. Here. That another doctor. Over here. Nobody died, nobody died. Just the guy over here, so we'll make him another doctor. That should help. We have some denari now. But we might have to import marble again pretty soon. With 8% unemployment, I don't think it's enough to justify... <laughs> justify starting patricians. But maybe you will have to. You could also sell oil, maybe. No, nobody buys it. We'll have to go and <clears throat> set up something pretty quickly. If you need more plebeians, it's pretty easy to add a block over here, I think, without stretching the aqueduct too far. Problem is. They are supposed to be buying a whole bunch of iron. They are just not interested in that. Like 100, 105 units plus 15 by C. Or that's actually land as well. So 120 by land, 25 by C. Mm, they don't seem to be doing it. Might uh, fetch some iron over here to sell it. Get it. And activate the warehouse. And this one. Try to import some marble again. And we'll disable one set of temples. Save up on levy. It's actually running out of food again. Uh. 
It's inaccessible now. There is more stuff there, but it's not reachable by the services, so we'd have to <laughs> make another set. Get compelled. There's plenty of food there. And scrap these mines. Keep this just as getting for pottery. We want to shift our iron production over here entirely, but we need to think of a way to s to have them somewhere that is actually viable and not disrupting our water. Let's check for that. Still be space to snake an aquatic through. Like this, and we'll need a better house. Still would bring an aquatic through if we place it. There is three there. Make the warehouse here and the overflow can go into the other area. I'll accept. Make more services here. are just constantly refusing to work. It's iron. Iron is over here. It's not being delivered to the workshops. Ah, oh, we are still stockpiling it. It's dumb. It. Now we should be better off. Hopefully. The marble imports crushed us again. What we could do is make some warehouses for pottery to be able to sell it. This is actually cutting into the patrician area, it's pretty bad. But we can stretch it up, I think. So it wouldn't be so bad, as you might think. Yeah, they are buying a bunch of iron now, hopefully they will keep buying it a lot. Fire in the city, let's check where it is. Over here, <coughs> need another prefect. This one is constantly going that way. Unemployment went down. But people are still pissed, right? Yeah, still annoyed, of course. <coughs> their natural state. From pays more wages. Increase that. We'll be making some money. Third, up, third stage out of five. So fourth one is now a go. And it needs 12 marble, even more wages, yeah, why not? Uh. 
but we are getting some money. The most important thing. <clears throat> so we should probably focus on getting some sort of a design for patricians now. First thing that needs to be done is bring water there. So, all the way over there. These mines will need to be shifted. This warehouse will need to be shifted as well. What is it for? For getting weapons. <laughs> Can make it somewhere else. And connect this up like that. These need to be shifted as well. Or we could shift the warehouse for iron. Probably remove it. Just not have it. the corner, which is pretty bad, so I'll have to shift this mine. Cannot place it there, but we can do without one, I think. Still should have plenty. Let's check natives. Problems. Not problems, natives. Better out going through there and there among these strings. Getting sloppy, well, that's fine. Problem is this hut. Need to pacify this guy, so let's keep a mission post there and the road. It. Next stop, go around. We might as well start with bringing this over. Check natives. Check more natives. design something for the patricians. We'll probably bring food from up here to a granary there. Clear this up. So we want to keep the maximum level patricians, which means that we need to first think about where to place the hippodrome. It will have to be rotated. And we can keep it over here. It will cost us a lot to make. As well... Keep in mind, it's around here and increase trading of iron. That's good. Let's check the hippodrome again. There's one more tile. This is it. 
We'll need to make something. Uh, keep four, even though we might just want services on this side, so let's keep two instead. Go down like this. Actually, need to have a road like this. I think this is the edge of the hippodrome. This rock is unfortunate for us. But keeping some extra space is fine. Might want to do destination walker cheese. But I don't think it will be necessary if we play this correctly. So maybe just loop it up. In most cases the loop will be serving us better, I think. We'll need a reservoir over here. Probably that is fine. Like this. And I'll need to take a quick break, so I'll be back in about two to three minutes. Alright, we are back, so let's continue on trying to set up the patrician area. So this will be a hippodrome, <clears throat> this is a reservoir. Might as well try to squeeze in some patricians. This will be one. This can be one. Another one can be there. Might as well add a few statues so he doesn't evolve in a wrong way because they tend to do it every time. There. Is it correct? Yes. <clears throat> so this will be four of them. Could fit another one right there. Then probably six is the number we want to aim at. It will be one. It's fine. Cannot give them any 
other services, they will have to be tense for quite a bit, I think. I have to fund them for these guys there without an issue. Now this needs to cover these. This tree could be covered by this. This one will have its own personal fountain. Deal. Six of them is quite enough if we can get that amount going. We'll need some prefects and engineers, other services. Prefer to set them up in an area where they would not become a desirability burden. Doctors as well. Doctor is not so undesirable, I don't think. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's keep him there. We'll need to get food. They'll need fishing as well. So let's utilize this coastline for a few wharfs. And a shipyard. With a granary. Right there for fish. Give them services as well. And the doctor for the granary. And next stuff we'll need to set up getting. Might not be perfect. Yeah, we might also sell veggies to overseas, I guess. This warehouse is not doing anything. Oh, it's getting iron. Let's keep it simple. Not interfere with that. This grand temple is getting built. Need to set up granary for fish and set it up over here. I'll not need much of it, so not worried about efficiency that much. Need to roadblock this. Next up, set up granary for wheat. Need to set up a road over here as well. Perfect and doctor. Bunch of food there and some over here. Might as well use this. It was Petrov is blocking the placement. You can only get one farm there. So let's have it there. Connect this up. Try to avoid the horrid staircase. Uh, something like this. is not necessary. We will set up gardens. There. Lots of vegetables. Get a granary to get wheat. We will switch them up. I will accept vegetables. So I will get wheat. Crops are done. Now we need to utilize this area, likely. We have the trees. Set up a reservoir in the middle. So 
Correct. We we'll need to catch. Get an area for getting wheat. Do that. So that needs to go here. Nice. There. We'll work with this. Like that. Start with some pants. Run this. Keep a market. I will probably need two of them. So might as well start setting them up. This is a nice 3x3 three three area. It's fairly decent. There. I don't trust this one. Like a doctor. Unfortunately, we'll have to make a doctor here as well, I think. Keep on there and an engineer. Let's hope one will do the job. No, I doubt it. Both weapons and that. It clay quite a lot, but we have a lot of clay. <clears throat> that shouldn't be much of an issue. But going forward, we'll probably want even more worker camps to make this work. Architect. I need to do it since the hippodrome will take ages to construct. Disable our olive oil industry for a while. Don't actually need it currently. Not many workers, but it'll help. And people are upset, so nobody is immigrating into the city, even though we have zero unemployment. What's the reason they are getting paid more than Rome, right? No, they will be. 9,000 in wages already. They are annoyed. I am annoyed as well. Now they come in. Why do I make these sloppy mistakes? Make it there, there, there. Making smelly tents. I 
actually fit. I'll do a school right here. They will demand the theater soon. So we'll keep one over here. Give them a guard. Check if we have any surplus mercury. We don't. We have to make one. Gods might get a little jealous, but it's okay. We'll give them one more because I doubt Temple will be able to cover everybody. It's ours. Another small attempt there. So <clears throat> this is getting right. No, should be getting. We might not go want to go overboard on these people. Concern is feeding them all. So that one is good. This one is good. That's great. I move this corner then. Will be watered, so it's not bother. Make another one there. We'll give them a hideous plaza. Building in the city? No, I miss that tutorial. Some of them are getting food already. A bunch of them actually. So they have theater, they have indication, so they should become small casa immediately. Means that we will have to find a place, sneak in a warehouse for them. It will be there and it will get 16 units of pottery. And next up we will sneak in an amphitheater right there, as well as a ball house. Good. There and very the school and uh, the school night. Religious facilities. The other pattern should cover them eventually. Maybe it's a bare spot for a temple. No, it looks like the priest just walked by now. Good enough. Price rise on marble, so it's even more expensive to import. Patricians will need to get going. Once we get unemployment to higher levels. It's just 4% now. But more people are moving in. It will eventually become an issue. Check this temple. Almost done. Make some oracles. Catch that. There, there. Need to connect this up. We will do a road like this. A road block it off. Connection there. Get up all of these trees. Connection. Road blocks. And. I'll just provide a religious access with regular temples, I think. Might do small temple to Mercury. Just to get them the access and another one to Mars. I go over there. They will want to be fed, so might as well start on that. Place the markets here. Need a bunch of warehouses as well. 
Might as well start on them now. Start stockpiling stuff for them, so that will be pottery. Which will not be accessible to traders. Furniture. Also not be accessible to traders. And oil. And we'll need wine as well. And not acceptable to traders. Let's check docks. Might add a few more workshops until we actually won't need any more. Uh, until we will have to switch off our wine exports, we will actually want to sell as much as possible. Money is very important. This is almost done. It will be done very soon. Uh, these are bringing wheat to over here now. Not great, but we'll cut this road off eventually, so it's fine. We should disable vultures coming here. Grand Temple is done. Reduce pottery and furniture consumption or oil and wine consumption. Pottery and furniture are more important because we have mercury priests in all the plebeian neighborhoods. Might as well consider giving them actual furniture. Pottery. They will get pottery eventually. You should disable traders from stealing goods from over there. We are evolving, so let's make a statue there. And another one over here. Might as well fit another bayon. This one you will need some statues. That was enough. Push him over the top and Need to roadblock this off. These have their own service, so this is fine. These are getting done. They will want us to cool. actually has improved range in Augusta, so it should reach from there. Library as well. They will want a theater. And an amphitheater. Theater school. Press colony. Place the hippodrome. Native needs to move out of the way. Done. It will take a lot of resources to make, but it should be worth it in the end. For these, they are vessels now. Let's keep a forum over here. Next them. Barber. Look at that, yeah. Going well. Apart from the barbarian incursions. They are coming from the side, that is the place that attracts you, but need to be careful. Uh, 
some of the German ears over here. And another cavalry unit. Jump there. Let's grab these trees. And we'll just make a few walls just in case. Some of our units will need to go around, but that's okay. Yeah. It was not a good decision. Unless you have your army set up very very close. Really bad. I just want to protect my aqueduct with this. But the main bulk of my people are actually here. And it's good since I didn't have to even expand the main aqueduct area that much. All it takes is these three reservoir areas. All the rest are the enclosed ones but I needed to bring out water for the patricians as well just place the hippodrome so it will take quite a while to get it finished I would love to get another warehouse for getting marble but I don't want to block this route off Let's just keep this as it is. We might need to give them... Let's check. They all want Bald House, right? Yeah. Let's do it. Make the Bald House... Over here. We'll get there eventually. Yep. Furniture will get here eventually as well. Just need to set up the manufacturing to be even larger. Maybe. Workshops for furniture. We'll keep four of them just for local consumption. This one will accept timber, just eight units. <clears throat> and 24 furniture. We could get services to cover the building. Oh, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. Might have to move this one. There. And traders shouldn't come here. Might as well increase the oil export over, maybe. We'll export over 12 units of wine. And we will set up furniture to export over 15. Give me a sec to take care of this. Press in the chat. Okay. Marble. And give him marble, but it's real expensive at this point. At least Syracuse sells us more if we need it, and we always need it. Okay, money is looking good. We have been struggling to produce all the iron we need. So 
I don't know, another iron mine there. Could make some more. Ah, uh, let's scrap it, I don't like it. Uh, let's instead go and focus on the patricians. He'll prepare academy for them. And the hospital. Keep access point through there, so it's fine. Doesn't like the surrounding area. Fine. I'm happy. Bitch Jones. Make him miracle. They will get the furniture soon enough. Podrum is getting built. Make an arena. Somewhere. Might need to sh beat one of the statues. This one should be fine to delete. We have plenty of uh, desirability around them. Arena and a line house. Line house might be a little tricky. And have it here. But we might want a tavern as well. I'm not sure where because it's not a desirable neighbor. Up there it shouldn't affect too many patricians. Plaza. Some large insulin now. They might want another god. So let's give them a Neptune temple. Ground insulin. This high ability already. And this guy actually will have just three tiles. Three. Yeah, mismanaged. He will be smaller, Patrician. Pretty bad. Can I switch him up for something else? Don't think so. Could have had him over here. He removed the tavern and the engineer's post. Cut off large part of the area, though. Can we still move through? I don't think so. So, prefecture will need to go. Can be there. Engineer's post can be there. And what, what did I remove? Tavern. Through the patrician, yeah. More like Marek Patrician because I am always mucking this up. Need to shift this fountain. No, I cannot cannot do it because I would encroach into this guy. Instead, what we are going to do is water him from here. I will move the temple to Neptune. From here. Sloppy today, very very sloppy. Shameful display. Switch the tavern around. Hey, dark packing. Thanks for the subscription. Now you belong among the proletari. You should you should actually join uh, the Discord server now because you get access to voting for new long play games and stuff like that. So if you click on about page on the channel, there is a link to Discord and if you go there, you will actually get your role assigned automatically if you are linked with your Discord to your Twitch. 
and there are some channels which are exclusive to people like uh, that are VIPs or subs like long plays and challenges I think so people like Baron or subs can actually contribute there if they want a specific game to be added to the list you check it out need to uh, improve desirability might fit an uh, entire statue over here would lengthen the road the route quite a bit yeah I'll look into it if you aren't in interested in that then since you are a sub you should use all your powers right but Mark wouldn't consider Outpost to challenge. I would consider it a punishment stream. Uh, if it was added to the punishment wheel, I would definitely play it, but it's not a challenge. <laughs> it's just pure suffering. Pure, pure soul. Grant it sway. It wants more. Might take them with some gardens, but <clears throat> they might actually want even more later on, so let's make a statue instead. Some gardens around, not too many. Push them over the top if there is need for it. Place of vine, so I guess the tavern has stolen all the wine, so we should set up even bigger export over limit, which will be like export over 16, 18, 24 units. We have some villas or palaces rather entertainment of course plaza or plaza uh, desirability is required might appease him with some medium statues this guy is picky picky a lot needs wine it's going to happen needs access to the academy we do have an academy, but uh, apparently it's not reaching him, so we'll need to make another one. Oh, it's going to be a pain. Set up. We might do is get rid of this one. Make the academy over here. That. Let's check where the native uprising is. It's here. Danger. Set the cavalry to sacrifice themselves. They will kill a bunch of the natives. The cavalry are actually surprisingly good against natives for some reason. Because the natives are almost as bad as the cavalry. In melee, that is. Of course. And keep the javelin ears on the hill. Them. Yep, worked out. Cavalry actually kicked their ass pretty well. Don't see that every day. Cavalry being useful. Mm, this will not, not be a road once we construct this. We should probably shouldn't build much there. Would fit a large statue on this hill. Reach him. Quite fine. Might be an issue with desirability here, so let's add some mediums. And we'll need to shift this academy, it's doing a bad job at covering everything. Or maybe keep them, we have unemployment anyway, so why not? Are we taxing these people? We are, right, yeah. Rice, rice on olives, it's not great. Greetings! It needs a library. Library is available. Yeah, okay. Shut up. Now he needs vine. Vine will be here in a moment, I hope. 
might need another warehouse for getting wine actually. But it's really rough to fit everything. Hey, carry you. After Outpost 2 was pretty miserable, I'd be happy to never see it, see it again. Yeah, Kerio knows. Kerio remembers. Kerio is a kindred spirit in this regard. So what kind of monster would request that? Right? Let's keep a roadblock there and have this get wine as well. I'll disable traders from stealing wine from there. Take a look at the hippodrome. It's getting built, but it will still take some time. Unemployment is kinda high. Let's check how many people we can cram into the city. 7000 in total. It's not enough. But since we have the actual boon of uh, Grand Temple to Mercury, to use it properly, we would have to evolve our guys into uh, medium insula. Which would mean giving them furniture. But furniture exports are vital. So that won't be easy to do. Maybe instead we should just set up another small insulate block. Would we have to be somewhere where there is plentiful food? Season wants money. Let's send him money and a gift on top of that. We'll figure out a place to place another lap block if we need to. Grand Villa still needs desirability. Once we remove this road, I will be able to think of a way to improve the desirability even further. For now, it's kind of rough. Maybe this mine is impacting the desirability. Probably does. Remove this engineer. Could do medium statues. And let's check something. Parks. Column. Final. Bones should actually have pretty good desirability. So that is two, three, four. Maybe it's actually bad I should have kept this for a large statue. <coughs> I'm going to keep it like that. Palaces, small palace. Need the hippodrome badly. Getting, <clears throat> getting built. This takes ages. Uh, would, would a column help? Uh, marble column. Ah, oh, this is a bad place. Encroach on the patrician. Didn't notice that. Might add yet another large statue on the hill. <laughs> Actually getting a uh, large grand temple to Venus would be very good on this map, I think. But one of the tasks was to get grand temple to Mercury, so we did that instead. I think that I missed a task, which is get a lighthouse going. I just don't want to do it. It's gonna be so horrible to set up with the paths. Let's 
check. It's getting there. Marble is being stocked. Oh, uh, devolution because of erratic supply of vine. Remove the small castles around him. We'll definitely need another pleb block at some point. Even though we are still having unemployment issues. Blessing from Mars is not bad. Thinking what I can do to employ people. Cannot afford massive amount of wages, but need to do something. I guess we might as well sell some vegetables. We did that last time, I think. Maybe we should do a few towers. But towers are, might be bad to trigger enemies to attack us earlier. The Hippodrome will actually employ a huge amount of them. Just need to wait until it's finished. And until then we can start making a plant block, I guess. Where is fertile land to feed people? Over here, but it's horribly inaccessible. Actually, it would be fine if we brought water here. And there is not many natives. So this looks doable. There is even some places for pottery up here if we ever need it. But I doubt we would need it. A reservoir. Mm, let's check the roads first. I don't even know how I will fit people in here. Probably with another squiggly road. We need to do something like this. Or just the winding path. Be my best bet. All of this will be unutilized, which is horrible. But can use it like that and then connect this up with a granary I I done something like this before and it worked it was just jank jank a lot try to do it again I'll have something like this it will be abhorrent crime against city building Get an area right here for accepting wheat. Start making some tents. Want to keep the ends of the actual place for various services. Here, there will be another one there. There. Next up, services. So we'll make engineer there, uh, prefect there, prefect there. Over here. Need a bunch of engineers as well. Keep everything from collapsing. And doctors. And have one there and keep one over here. Should be enough. Give them water once they merge. We see where to place the fountains more clearly. And we can actually make a few farms immediately for wheat. Get the native risk. another engineer and a prefect while we will cut off this area. 
so that will work. Uh, we will need to give them pottery as well. We need them to be small insula. Means that warehouse will need to go. Mm. Be great to have it somewhere convenient. But all these places will be taken up by various services. Maybe there is a 3x3 I can use somewhere. And have it there, I suppose. One house is not a big deal. This will get pottery units. Disable traders. People will come. Right? They are not annoyed. Indifferent. Indifferent is fine. Ah, oh, we have devolutions. Why were there devolutions? Clean water from the fountain. I cut off my water axe. <laughs> How did this happen? Ah, uh, this corner, of course. When I was clearing out the area, it's fine. <clears throat> we'll fix it. Unfortunately, a lot of the goods did split off of these houses. But we'll need to rip off the bandaid and just remove them. There's no way we are going to make them merge, otherwise, with the desirability problems. Evolutions because of reasons needed water from there. It was kind of painful, but it'll be fine. What about the hippodrome? It's getting there slowly but surely. People are streaming in over here. It's great. There's some more hideous tents. And have one there as well. <laughs> a lot of people coming. <clears throat> we need quite a lot of population, so the more we get crammed in here, the better for us. Wine has erotic supply. Might need another market. Might be an issue. Give me a sec, check something. start to water people. <laughs> so we need a whole bunch. So that is okay. Next up is reservoir, so let's check. We we'll probably need to place two of them. No, it actually looks like this will be a perfect place for one. Connect it to our to our aquatic network, but we will have to be Right here. Let's do that. Pass the staircase. Then there can be another route. And more aqueducts hugging this cliff. Connect there and we'll make some plaza. Slather the tents in plaza. will be fine. We'll need it uh, anyway, eventually. Let us look at it now. This will merge. Right. Merge. Merge. Next up, this area. But... Getting it there is better. For this area, might need to use. This will cover a lot of them, but this one will get excluded. 
Well, let's remove him and place a school there. It might be able to cover everybody since it has a different walker pattern than most buildings. You'll need to move some temples, so let's do Venus series. There. We need a theater. One of them will probably not be enough, but we will see about that. Need a bad house as well. The good locations are horrid, but we can make another reservoir there. Reservoir actually does not employ any people or anything like that. It's just an immediate expense. Over 7,000 people, good. We need some markets going. So market there and one there. Will be quite far for them but they should still be able to do it quite easily. We trading from Tinges. Left. Some issues because of these slums, but it will get better soon. Mokasa, you will need an amphitheater. We'll make one there, and what we'll do is make a gladiator school right there. Uh, pacify this native from downstairs. I'd love to do it. Not sure if there is a space for it. Yeah, there is. Keep that out there. Classify the bad people. He's calmed down now. So <clears throat> let's add an actor's colony as well. Should still be fine for access. Medias Casa, I need to move them. Statue there. And do a column. Not gardens, uh, parks, marble column. They actually need uh, amphitheater access, but they should probably get it. Depends on the walker patterns. These guys might need their own personal market. Looks like it. Get rid of this tent. Make a market over here. And we might actually fit a tent there as well. Got a statue. Yeah, these got it. Good enough. Good enough. How is the Hippodrome looking like? It's third stage is getting there. 32 marble. So it will be a little while until we stockpile all of it. But it will be done eventually. These castles need a bathhouse access. Since this is, there is no water there, might as well place a bathhouse over here, right? Yeah. Not worried about little access services. Where are the enemies attacking from? Here. This is a good place. I'm more worried about the attacks from the east. Come cavalry. Move them forward. More chivalineers and some more heavy units. 
This chimney here will actually need to be moved there. More efficient. Spirit of Mars did help us, but we didn't even need the help. It's a huge waste. Check our housing advisor. We have space for plenty of people. Almost enough for the goal. They'll have three large tents somewhere. We might have food shortages. We do have food shortages over here. I don't think we can fit it like fit in a granary. Oh we can. But it would crook my road a lot. Maybe it's a good idea though. Get wheat. Or it should maybe get fish. Yeah, it should get fish. Or no, get wheat, but we'll expand the farms there. A good idea. So there was an uh, engineer's post and a doctor. Let's replace those. And what we'll do is make some more farms over here. Wheat farms. There. Have to just accept it's not going to be pretty. Might as well remove this. Make this into a granary. There is someone walking there. This is simple crops. This is engineer's post prefecture. Accept wheat. Need to do some more services over here. So we have prefect there, engineer there, and we'll need a doctor there. Roadblock right here. Make some more farms. Connect this up. More services. This should work. Maybe that will be fire though. Doing it a little bad. So. Maybe another prefect just to be safe. Really paranoid about that. Blessing from Mercury. Not bad. A little bunch of wine, I think. Would have been great to get some marble. But no such luck. Caesar wants iron, so we can stockpile that. Come on, build it. They're having trouble. Marble. Might as well clear this route a little bit. They are taking a lot of time unnecessarily. Send the request, yes. Gardens of Plaza are not the issue. The issue is the monument, but it will get built eventually. Problem might be <coughs> that we might struggle with getting the final stage done. It will cost a lot of marble. 
I currently don't have anything wild. Just get a warehouse over here for getting marble as well. Just another card going is good. It's 32 for this stage and then maybe a final one as well. We have big unemployment. Need to increase wages a little bit more. And people are actually happy. And maybe some watchtowers. We are just up. Build some towers there. And over here as well. Out of the reach for the native, of course. Soon there will be an attack from this location as well, since we never get attacked from here. <coughs> uh, clear that up and make few towers. Take a wall. Wall this staircase off. This area off as well. They will go through here. Need the hippodrome to be done to employ people. Forty-six clay. Local uprising. It's probably simultaneous one, right? Small ones. Most likely, and the cavalry might be enough. Uh, not actually that small. Might just be deceiving. The ladies actually got wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. Uh oh. Might die here. Prefects are not gonna cut it, I don't think. Yeah, it's rare, but it happens. Especially when you mismanage your forces, like I just did. Yeah, I, I expected this to be a simultaneous uprising, so... It goes on me because I should have not predicted that. If it was simultaneous one, it would be a bunch of small attacks at once. Instead, what we've got is huge attacks. And all of our forts are shrek.
They are routing, it seems. It's marble. Okay. Not the Grand Temple. Fix. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Yeah, they are crunching my block. Just even one native manages to do insane damage. Uh, and of course, these are utterly terrified, even though there are 10 of them. Because cavalry. Better love cavalry. Uh, Insulate. Yeah. Replace it. Ah, oh, still corpses, right? Replace it. This. It's like <laughs> got, away, got away with it. Mm, no such luck. Oh, goes to show that it happens to everybody mismanaging the fights. I slowed it down. Fighting on high speeds. Bad. I fought it on high speed because I was sure, I was 100% sure it was just a small native attack. And they also did uh, something that I didn't expect. They went up top over here and flanked me into the javelins instead of fighting the cavalry politely. So for next time I should be more careful, but managed to at least not take a humongous amount of damage. So we are still in this. It could have been worse. I mean, to see a monument destroyed by enemies, really satisfying view, yeah. We, we came really close, one of the natives was strolling right through here with his knife. So I guess just a few jabs with his butter knife and all of this would crumble to ruins. Oops. Need more desirability. And of course now they will merge like stupid people. Construct this. The marble is missing. We are having marble here as well. That means that we should have plenty of it to construct everything. Come on, do it. Oh gods are pissed. Gods are pissed. Uh, might get away with a few Moracles. But Moracles and everything will be fine, right? Moracles forgive. Art sins. Come on. Make them. Might hold construction for a little bit. Construct Moracles and then we can finish the monument. Are in the city. Let's manage something. Oracle. That was I very moved one prefect too many. And Oracle burning is bad because it means that gods will notice even more. So let's make more. Hope that it gets uh, done. Come on, get it done. They are building it. It takes a while. Resume construction. Almost enough people, but I need to get the monument done to employ them. Army is totally shrecked. Okay. What we'll do is we'll make few towers. Money is not an issue for us currently. And it shouldn't be an issue once we get the higher level patricians. I will actually play some more buggers today because my internet crashed yesterday. It was horrible. I still need to finish it. I'm looking forward to breaking 
my sanity on the missions without boom uh, slugs because it's going to be a horrid grind I expect like hour per mission instead of like eight minutes these oracles are done good check the money man So I utterly failed in making this city beautiful. Just I cannot help myself. Just don't know what's wrong with me, but it's maybe also because the custom maps are not really suited for it. The campaign maps definitely are more suitable. They are very shoehorned and where you need to build here. Guess it's not hideous, but it still could be much, much nicer. Also removed a bunch of trees unnecessarily. It's okay. <clears throat> Plant of money. Finish the monument and be done with this. Army is recovering. Good. Last stage, right? Have two architects, so hopefully they will finish it quite quickly. What's building? Oracle, okay. We have lack of engineer here. You know this is connected. No, there is a road. Okay. My mistake. Road block this off. Make another one. Now this should cover everything. Yep. Good. You yeah, are safe. Check. Engineer was just here constructing a while ago. Invasion is imminent. Once we employ them, we should actually get necessary people. I think the evolutions and the patricians should also give us some population capacity. Need this to be done. it lower price monument is completed now we need chariot maker so he can be over here without an issue the only issue might be if we get attacked and this gets absolutely demolished but it's fine 150 employees so more people should move in no current races. And we get some large palaces, luxury palaces. This guy needs some deceiving. Either gardens or no, actually, medium statue. Yeah. This guy, yeah, yeah, we knew that he will be a troublemaker. Remove this road. This. Let him eat statues. It's bad to cut off. Cut off off like that but it's not much else we can do oh got a statues around him be obedient yes good enough let's check population capacity it's just enough but we need everybody to move in, and that will be an issue. We'll need some more towers to employ everybody. Unless we make... A bunch of watchtowers into problematic areas. Might be better because they don't cost levy. And we need to be mindful of the natives. Make them over here. Connect them with a road. And make a patrol route with them going around there. Remove this. And down here. Same thing over here. 
Good play. We can definitely use some defenses here, so let's do it. If anything else, they should just delay the enemy. And if you make enough of them, they should actually even be able to fight them quite nicely. Make a patrol route through there. Connect all of this up. And even make towers if I need. Mm. Since we are getting immigration, we should actually prepare for more labor sinks. In the worst case scenario, I might even do missionary drum circles to employ people. Like these. Now let's do it. Money shouldn't be an issue. Spread them around here and there. They'll employ a bunch of people. We had a fumigation. It was a long time ago, but we need to re uh, replace this house. Like a mission post. Over here is fine. And that. Unemployment is going down. Might need a few more. To keep everything running. Lastly. Keep a road through there. Another mission post. Oh uh, yeah, this, that one is fine. Unemployment went down, so now check the sentiment. Sentiment is great. Now people are moving in. Invasion is imminent too. It might really hurt if my army has not recovered yet. Some of them are still not full, this fort in particular. Need to fight them carefully. Check they approach from there. This is a best spot. I still think it's a best spot where you can actually get attacked from on this map. It offers you plenty of space to work with. Make a wall there just so they don't use it again. The flank was really something before. Got some units there. Not underestimate them this time. Javelin there. And two of our javelins will probably go deep. Do they fire one after the other? Maybe they will not target the same unit this way. This is a rock, so let's keep them, <coughs> keep them there. Check, it might be a small one, but you never know. It's not a huge one since it's two units of blue guys and two units of X-Men. Like four legion strength. We might get another attack soon. Not often that I use cavalry. Usually I like to use the javelin spam much much more. Managed to drive them off. So let's return to barracks. And eventually we will see. That's enough. Favor is lacking. Need to go and send him a gift again. 75. Needs to ask for something. Check population advisor. We have plenty. For pottery, consider it done. Favor arose just slightly. This determined set is threatened. We'll send our force, but first let's take a look at the map. 
There is no attack incoming unless it's natives. Small force, so we'll have to. <laughs> we don't have academy training actually. So two horses should be enough. Maybe make it three units. Just to be safe. But I believe two auxiliaries are enough if you have academy training. Good blessing from Mars, so that should help us in an event of some uprising. Or anything like that. Prosperity is 100, peace is 100. We go for all 100. I remove a bunch of the mission posts that I made, but it's a risk because I might actually remove one that I need now. So that's bad. Let's just be grateful if we win at all. Money is great. Population is there, we just need a favor. Save the distant Roman city soon, right? Yeah, we are almost there. After we do that, our favor rose on its own. Did you see that? Just gained like three favor. Send him the money. Send him a gift. Eight to seven favor. Alright, so that's done. Let's continue for a little bit. Check the message. Roman City saved. Okay. So I failed at making the city beautiful and I also failed at making the lighthouse. Hey Chris, welcome. And GG, yeah. 100 prosperity, peace and favor, yeah. But no culture. <laughs> so some people will not consider it an achievement, but it's fine. I consider it quite the achievement. Even though the map is not too hard, I like it a lot. It offers a lot of challenges regarding the water. And even the economy is not so straightforward as you might think with so many trade routes. Because a lot of the things will dry up or actually become viable. Yeah, lighthouse would not be so hard right now. We just have to find a body of water, probably make it over here and with the marble just set up two warehouses to get timber and clay and make a <coughs> work camp and we can actually do that I think. This warehouse will actually get timber. This warehouse will get clay. Don't think we need to sell iron overseas anymore. And what we'll do is Architects Guild somewhere where it can fit. And be there and work again. Strangely, we don't have any music now. Is it a bug with the Victory song? Might be right. Very strange. Going to the options. Still no music. Feels just very weird. Playing Caesar without the music. Let's make the monument there. Come on. There. Connect the top. Roadblock this off. Make an engineer and a prefect. It's weird. I guess it's a bug. Because I read in the patch notes uh, that somebody patched uh, the victory song to play at all custom maps. Maybe it's part of the thing that says that all music must stop in order for the music to play, right? The fanfare at the end. But maybe it bugs out if you continue the game instead of exit. Coughs in background, yeah. Uh, it's not great. I guess uh, if you give me a moment, 
me do something. I'll just run some of the HD music in the background, I think. Just keep it running for a little bit. I might need to relax until this gets built. This bugos is going to be taxing on me. But all in all, I enjoyed playing Caesar again. Definitely, definitely need to do it more often. Six luxury palaces was quite enough. I think our prosperity cap was actually quite higher than we needed. I think you are right, Kerry. It needs to reach the center, right? No mistake, right there. Thanks for that. Are we getting timber? Should be right. Yeah. Just takes ages. It's fine. Necessary. Down. Now let's go and make some schools. A bunch of theaters. And soldiers return. Okay, let's make another statue to evolve these if possible. Check culture. Libraries. Actually, check the actual advisor, I think.
good. Above average. We'll need another academy or two. Can keep them there. Culture is 100, okay. Make a save then. And lighthouse needs to be done in order for the mission to be completed. And let me check the actual map for any additional goals that I have, might have missed. Additional goals were Grand Temple to Mercury, Caravanzara and Lighthouse with the old trader capacity upgrade selected. 150,000 den uh, denari in the coffers on these auxiliaries. We did that. And we did, we did send gifts to Caesar. But I'm sure that if we were to keep the game running for a long time, we'd actually get the money. We are missing a bunch of people right now. It's not a big problem. Uh, we actually have oil industry turned off as well. Pretty bad. Need to switch industry on and what we might do is instead cut back on our weapons production. Looks like it's quite enough already. I'll remove two mines and four workshops. It's because of all the culture dumps. Make the lighthouse. Come on. It's timber. Timber is there. Build it. Sixteen wood. 8 marble. Marble is fine. Wood is a bit of an issue. We can probably... No, we cannot buy timber from overseas. It was the bugged trade route that uh, told us that, but it was a lie. And probably scrap this warehouse and wipe it or two. We don't need the amount of clay for this anymore. We don't need this, 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 this. The victory, yeah, yeah. We'll need to construct the lighthouse though. New Emperor favor drops massively. <laughs> Sages. I'm sure we'll get attacked pretty soon. There was fish. Name fish. Enemy attacks. Come on. Where is it? It's over here, the worst place. We'll see. This music. Caesar 4 Heresy. Keep the Rome 2. But actually, we do have music in game now. Looks like the barbarian music is playing. And uh, cavalry forward. Need to just pile in, I think. With the help of the towers and the guards, we should be able to beat them back. Pretty easily. Oh, they are just streaming in. Yeah. This is what I was worried about. So, that's what happens <laughs> if they attack from here. 
and you build too close. Lost a bunch of structures. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kill him. Okay, done. And we lost a bunch of stuff, so we would have to rebuild it, but I think once the lighthouse is done, we'll consider it done. Four more pieces of timber, come on, bring it. Make it eight more. Freaking monuments. Hey, look, another warehouse. It will also get timber. For various reasons. Uh, just accept the promotion. I don't even care about that. It's fine. I think last time I played the map, I fulfilled all of the goals. If I'm not mistaken. Maybe not the money. So that was it for Caesar today. Thanks to everybody for tuning in and I'll be back with some bugos in a little bit. But until then, I will just send you off to see someone else. Yeah, Ryuku success. It was fun, I like this map quite a lot. So I recommended it to Baron as well, because he played it but failed, so he might play it at some point. Yeah, definitely. I want to play more Caesar, if I can. Just need to find maps that are actually enjoyable on stream, because not all of them are enjoyable, at least not by me. So I'll need to filter them out and think of something. Uh, I set up my schedule to include Caesar once per week, at least. <laughs> well, Baron did really well in Caesar and some other things, so it's not. Too bad. I just told the, told you that I recommend the map again because it's not bad. It's just that Baron did build in a bad area, and that can happen to all of us. You've seen me fail a lot of the challenges today as well, especially the military ones. I I'm not known to mismanage my military like that, but it happens to everyone. So until next time, cheers and thanks for tuning in to everybody. You'll rate fishy, fishy is up. So if you want some extra points, stick around. Yes, I have, and I said thank you. Hi, Merrick, again. Hobo, what do you got for me? Nothing. Oh. It's a full heart for fish. Oh, okay. Yay! I'm the one who needs it the most, after all, with my seven hearts and two armor. <laughs> I've got three still. Shit. How do I do that again? I have six. Oh, I have seven as well. I'm so stacked. I mean, you've got this. Um, what else is in here? Yeah, it's a clue. It has to be a big key. So are there other items that I have that I missed? No. Okay, most of the graveyard is dead. Hey, Baron. Dum, 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 dum. Baron. All oh, right, darkness. Uh, a hammer can be found near a thief. Uh, yeah, yeah, I really yeah. have that. Have I have hammer. all the hammers. I lost my family heirloom in Talents of Darkness. Oh, 
comes with darkness and... It wasn't yours, it was fishies, right, for me? Uh, uh... Oh, it's my own moon pearl. No, it's mine. No, it's not, it's yours. <laughs> uh... That's yeah, good, the, that gets me... That's dark world for me. Messages, but this is wrong. A little, a little faster. Shit. No, it's correct. 300 rupees for fishing. Nice. I can do Zora now. <laughs> Off me. Anyway, I can do my first dungeon at least, so that's good. Doing my first dungeon. Right now. I may have put it off very much, which is bad. Well, it's just in the way of the Tower of Arrow, and it's got a got a uh, yeah, um, crystal, so I, I'm just doing it. I I just did my first lap through all of Hyrule, so like kind of makes sense. There's a hard we piece. Have, we have a chest tracker in the dungeons. Okay. Why does Moldom have three eyes? Um, it's random now in, in the randomizer. Okay. Sort of sad that Google Stadia is um, a game that basically this. It'd be great even hey, less. the map. Sanctuary. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, what? I describe can play Sephardt. Like, what is I, tedious, I Baron? Describe tedious. I mean, it's up. almost like Google Stadia is a badly planned product. <laughs> Fine. Okay, good. Crystal 2. And this is uh, what is it? Palace of the No. <laughs> Oh, nice. That sounds like fun. St. Pelis is... This is why bureaucracy sucks. <laughs> Where am I going? And half of the stuff is just muscle memory. I like, I like that I still remember. Yeah. Stuff, it's great. Yeah, I gotta go with this thing. If I get hit even once, it would be dead. Where the hell am I gonna get magic from? Uh, what drops magic? The thing is, barcode, you can do Anything? stuff like that fairly easily just manually, so nothing can be done. So be fun. Or like co op runs, or I don't know. I can't have that. Ooh, that's good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Doesn't have a hook shot. Okay. Oh, did seventy percent completed. Nice. That sounds like fun. Fifty. Oh, nice run. Stone. Oh wow. The Dongo dislikes me. Thank you guys. Twenty bucks. Oh boy, a single arrow. Oh shit, good job. Ouch. I don't even have a, I don't even have a dark world access. Uh, I don't either. I have... Oh, no, I, could, I guess I could do... No, I can't do agonism. I need to lamp for that. I can do about 80% of the right now. Oh. Like, I've I got like him, like... Oh, no. Like this. When Sat's the canvas. boss. Yeah. I have, like, four, four locations left to check. Yeah. That's what society has come to. 
for humanity. Should be quite terrible. Goblins. Them Wellingtons. Oh, yeah, I was personally with Goblins. Mm -hmm. Sadly, he was just too busy uh, being asleep. Hey, Lucky. Hey, Lucky. Oh. Not going Ouch. well. Oh, it's going great yeah. for me. Dying. Oh, look, it is. Another bow. Oh, yeah. Nice. Well, now that's my first one. Same, I just left Eastern Palace, but it's okay. I say just five months ago now. Yeah. Well, it's just, right? Okay. Yeah, Baron doesn't know scripts. He's that's oh, yeah, as uh, no forte. Thing. I don't even know what that was. It was over the transition of a door. <laughs> And, and nitro and nitro oh, and my gloves. Gloves. There were two gloves in this this one oh. room. And and that is uh your your hookshot. Oh, okay. Oh of course I've got the hook back, so I can't do that. So here's my hookshot. Oh there he is. Oh you're too late now. <laughs> Uh, we, we were, were but, about two uh, hours yeah. ago. Where, where the hell are you? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you were. We had, we had a thing like <laughs> that. Uh, that's fine. I was like, I asked you if you were doing outbreak this week. You said no. No, I said I don't know. It's a different kind of no. That's fair. Because we all didn't know. Yeah, we weren't sure. But we all sure. with it, more or less. Uh, we're all here on time. Well, yeah, I wasn't, but, but else you was know. Basically, you're on time. I was late, basically. but I, I had a I had a note from my from my mother. Please excuse Niall from PE. He's going to be late because he's too busy doing other shit. Look, it's, it's nitrous powder. Oh, look, I'm I'm busy dying in a boss fight, goddammit. Because <laughs> <laughs> I apparently can shoot freaking arrows, and I forgot how to play this freaking game. Sounds like a you problem. Yeah. It, it it very much is a me problem. There we go. Oh, it's a full heart. Okay, well, that was. I mean, I needed to do the dungeon, but. All right. Well. Time to die to blind. That was absolutely pathetic. Please don't tell me anyone was watching this. I was. Oh no. Oh no. But oh, you got the cape though, Fishy. The blind is easy. Uh, I have one magic. <laughs> <laughs> and 50 rupees in magic. Yeah, I have like three items now. <laughs> oh god. Ooh. I mean, I've got a lot of things to check, so, you know. Uh, I didn't even check what it was, so I shouldn't even have done that. <laughs> I could have it's avoided gonna blind. Absolute, it's gonna be absolute garbage with my uh, check speed. Actually, give me, give me a magic Yo. refill. Okay, that was actually not worth, but still. Wait, no. I can pretend it's worth. <laughs> Uh, 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 I don't have mirror. I'm not gonna do um, the dwarves the long way. I didn't even do it in my in the blind mode. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 One, that's two. Hey! Come on, it's nice, but I need. Hey, it's another sword. That means I can do Aga, actually. Yeah. There you go, this is your Dark World. 
Wait, why am um, I doing why am I doing the escape? Oh, what am I doing? Um what was over here? Where's north? Yeah, whatever. Um dig game. Um I think Is I it showing the escape in oh, the green I don't have a fucking map. That does give me another item to do, so that's good. Um Wait. Go. How many? Right. One and thirty. That. Uh, uh, one, two. Now I have four items left, so thank you. Because even if I do Aga, no, Aga doesn't oh. give you an item. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank uh, you. All oh, four. So it's all four tricky. swords. <laughs> <laughs> which, which means, and I picked Wait, up one of, I picked up two of my own. Oh, you are. So but I have like nine swords in my game, or something. I have, I have, it's a lot. I have four swords, sniper man. But I haven't gotten a single uh, tunic or uh, or shield. Well, there's a tunic. A death right. <laughs> Thank you. I have two shields and one tunic. But I also have like nine hearts. So. Back on that. Okay, um... Okay, yeah, I, you... I lost my family heirloom in Misery Mire. Okay. Hopefully I don't have yeah. that. The westmost chest in Swamp Islands contains 300 rupees for fishy. Okay, I don't care about any of that stuff. <laughs> that's, okay, that's one um... day. Money, right. cards... Hype cave. How, how hype are we out of five? Come on, Hype cave, be nice to me. Zero. Wait. Oh. Talk to the guy. Thank you. 20 bucks. When, when okay, 20 bucks. Yes. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. Because in the dark, it's the dark. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Flippers. Oh, it was fishing. That gives me okay. a lot of access. Uh, yeah. Flippers, money, and a bottle. So. Bottle. That's like a, like, a, like a two out of five. Where's my um, dark world access? Oh, yeah. Village. Uh. I don't think I can do anything else down here, can I? Yeah, I should go Dark World now. Yes. Right. Yeah, I'm heading that way now. I think I can... I don't have light, so... I'll do that as well. Natural is the only one with light. Yeah, but I have a... I can use my brain. I have a, I have a light source, but no lamp. Annoying because I really can't do the the light this, uh, the lamp this stuff. I can. I mean, the, I can only the, do all. You know the, all you need. I mean, I can uh, do the eastern palace. But yeah. This, yeah. No. Yeah. That's not know, much either. Whatever the what, what the hell do you call it? The palace of darkness, the big maze, dark room. I can just about do that. It takes me about ten minutes. Oh, horrible. Absolutely. Uh, horrible. What do I have? What I'm probably gonna have? do that okay. actually. That's probably the thing I should do next. Because there's so much just, shit in there. I can actually do skull words, so I'm gonna do that. And then okay. Palace of Darkness is definitely wrong one. Three hundred dollars. Oh hey, Baz. Hey, it's a tiny little Man. shield. How cute. Man. Especially Dark World. Where am I going? Thank <laughs> you. 